And wow. this one's not featuring logic because you've now been featured. Now you're Aww. just a normal person. Now I'm just one of you. One of, one of you lowly plebs. One of the pleboids. I, uh... <laughs> I posted the the album. I'm going to show that first because it'll be amusing. Beautiful. Everyone can see all the work everyone's put into making Kylo memes. <laughs> I'll be demanding memes without. Wait, someone said, "Wait, why part two? We gotta have part two. Bing bong. There we. Go. We're not going to call it part dose. Be part dose. Parto numero two oh. Um. Yes, hello everyone. How do you do? Uh, we're the exact same as the previous podcast in terms of a cast. So, do do I even need to do anything other than just move move right along? Let's just get into the video. Can't do that. Let's go. jump right into, the, into the video. I got. This you is should a video. probably share a watch together, Link. This is a, we. It's the same one, yeah, plan. Oh, okay. I, I thought you had damn. to like reset your watch together. Pay yeah. attention, man. So if someone sent a video. I'm, I'm playing it. You should see. <laughs> oh God! Did they actually make it? <laughs> Boom! Oh, did not they the really? one we talked about. It's a different one. Oh, uh, okay. And then I'm going to showcase all of the art that was created. The beautiful, beautiful, Jump. beautiful art. <laughs> oh God! Wait, did you actually play the video? Or oh, I, I mean, I did, but. I'm uh, I'm concerned. Is my stream still up? Yeah, it just buffered for me, so I didn't see it. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I'll play it again then. It's it's just this. <laughs> it's dumb, but. <laughs> and these are uh, precious, precious memes. I don't I don't know if this. <laughs> That's amazing. Kyle Ben. <laughs> I just... Some of these are like really well made. Some of them are just fucking goofy. <laughs> yeah. What's that one? <laughs> that that one is really good. The. It's the sh when they get the shading <laughs> in and they get the light. Oh my right. god! I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't notice that one where he's looking down at Bilbo on the table. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I love the drawing one. <laughs> The drawing is still the best. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, oh man, Jared. <laughs> got some Jared. rhino milking memes as well. And this one, which I do not get how they photoshopped that so well so quickly, especially the cloak part. Even though it's so arbitrary, it... it... How did they get that so know. good? It's, it's ridiculous. It's uncanny how good that is. <laughs> and it it's scary, but I love it. Dude, a guy That's just beautiful. tried to steal a mace during a parliament section in the UK. The emergency power one fits perfectly. What? Steal a Words mace out. during... what? The like emergency a... power yeah. one fits perfectly kappa. What? I mean, the kappa is just... think of it as a smirking face, but I don't know about the rest. The emergency power one fits perfectly. Oh, this this uh, meme. Am I behind on the memes? Do I Do I not know the kids' memes these days? I think, I think, yeah, he was talking about one of the, the memes up there. But somebody uh, stole a mace, that's amusing. Anyway. Oh no, I turned into an old. You are an old, this is true. Uh, uh, is everybody in the watch together? We're apparently missing one. Um, I'm not. I'm seeing it. Okay, hang on. Um, we'll, we'll talk about it without you, it's fine. Plug oh. It. Yeah, just, just let me know what's happening. <laughs> We'll, the we'll, just we'll, we'll play it for the audience and then we'll re explain the entire thing. He's like, so, what he said, and, uh, it'll take us another 10 hours instead of five. What you're saying, <laughs> this is the second week in a row where we had to do a double E FAP spectacular. This wow. is all I've done all day, by the way. <laughs> and, and we... I woke up and it was E FAP time, and they're like, We're gonna do a part two, asshole. You see, yeah. this is what Mauler does. He has us kind of like we're chained in the basement mm -hmm. and we're just mm -hmm. desperately like, can we just do anything other than watch a Last Jedi video? He's <laughs> like, no. This Mauler is treats us like channel. children on Canto Bus. <laughs> <laughs> There's a mace in the House of Commons to show royal power and authorize, author authorization? Authorization. Authorization. Are you, authorization? Why are you seeing this? Author, author, author. Author, author, author. Can we review air supply? Music videos instead. I mean, that's like. Care? I don't even. 
Why would we do that? Like that's what we were watching before the first stream started. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah, um, and then you got me all excited. Well, we could and then watch we never the official it. trailer for the Avengers too, or we could watch we YouTube could watch Rewind. YouTube Rewind. Oh. oh no! I no longer like my own joke. Uh, but yeah, my chat is jammed right now. It's concerning. Why is internet B? Why is internet B? You know? Oh, it's going again. Okay, whatever. Anyway, Ray end up being brother. Is that working for you guys? Yeah. To learn about in. Yeah, I'm just making sure it's playing. But um, the script on December. Wait, is he starting all the way over from the start of the movie now? No, adding. What? I think he's going to make several different um, points, I suppose. I mean, I mean, we can start over at the beginning of this video, and it'll no. go fast. What he's... <laughs> Second time's... Oh, is... Am I cutting out for you guys, or is he cutting out? I I can hear... Who? Yeah, his rag's cutting. Damn. Damn it! Alright, here's what we're going to do. What are we going to do? Are you sure you're on the right audio device? Well, there <gasps> we go. <laughs> Now he's gone. Rags. No! Is he's he's never gone. coming back. Oh, he's back. Is, okay, let me know if this works or if it doesn't work. Or if things are bad or it, good. It, it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It, it's fine, yes. Um, anyway. Okay. So he's... He, 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 so, so let's take it back. This is the beginning of his conclusion, I guess. Movie. Truth be told, I started writing this script on December 16th, 2017, and have been adding, editing, deleting, tweaking, rewording, and otherwise just trying to get this right since then. I can't even tell you how many words I've written. I was going to say, uh, a little bit disappointing if you've been working for that long on it, but who am I to judge? I take ages. Dude, who was that, that other guy that you guys covered? I don't think I was for it. Oh, where, that um... was the plot hole guy. Oh, yeah, where he was well, like... Was... I... No. I took this like no he 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 like um he spent like a year or something making a video and, like and nine just, redrafts or whatever. I, I'm sorry, but my favorite one he ever did was Willem, so I just jumped right to Willem. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the one most people know. But this he, is he's the, the plot hole guy. To me. That was our first popular refab. Three. And then there was those two people that reacted to the other Patrick Willems one. And you have like in J his response to Willem. Plot videos, two hundred thousand plus. Or, oh, that, that got big. Um, your microphone is is poop. God it, damn it! It cut. Your, like your mic was times. fine before. Why is it so bad now? It's because like, it sounds like. Would you guess lag, you guys? Or like guess? autoerotic asphyxiation in between <laughs> the, the the two parts or something? Hmm. Anyway, uh. He's been tweaking, rewording, deleting, editing, and adding. That's what I've been doing with my part one for um, the TFA series, but uh, that'll be interesting to see what you guys think of it when it's out, because it's, it's just, there's so much shit in it um, that, that I've had to carefully word, but I still think I could have worded it even more carefully, literally. Um, <laughs> it's a little bit longer than 40 minutes. A little bit. Written about this movie. Just kidding, it was a little over 14,000 at its peak. But a lot of that was because something would pop into my head and I'd just add it. I found out How that a lot of the same... How does it take you a year to write 14,000 words? I In the guess past was... year... Okay, go on. I was just going to say, I guess he, he's been selectively you know, tweaking it as opposed to constantly working on it. Uh, well, uh, okay. I, I have been writing a book for a year, a little over a year, like a year and two weeks. And it's at like 330,000 words. And I've fit YouTube scripts, a job, and college into that. I don't know been, how it took you 14,000, a year to write 14,000. Yeah, but you didn't have to write it to uh, be airtight against Last Jedi haters' criticism. Yeah. That's true. That's challenging. It's, yeah, cha I've it's been, so challenging, it's impossible. It's so challenging, he couldn't achieve it. <laughs> oh. My ideas come to me worded slightly differently. A lot. It's under. Whoa, it's under 10,000 now, whoa, but still. Whoa. It's like reset for me. Happened? Apparently it's oh my god. Up. Did the same thing to me. You okay, Rags? Good. We're good. Good. Okay. It was because something would pop into my head and I'd just add it. I found out that a lot of the same ideas come to me worded slightly differently. A lot. It's under 10,000 now, but still not everyone will be interested in everything. What are the visuals for here? Um, it's about The Last Jedi. People getting beaten up. It's that movie. It's earned 10k now, but still not everyone will be interested in everything I have to say. So I have to put some time Everybody's in the Wow. Timestamps for 40 minutes. I don't even do that for my fans when I make like three hour videos. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> shit on their own. Fuck those guys. 
thing I have to say, so I put some timestamps in the description. 20% of you probably gave me a solid thumbs down within the first five seconds and left a hate. I wouldn't even thumbs down this video. I would just be like, it was meh. Like, a thumbs down is as good as a thumbs up, according to the algorithm. Just so it's not know. like I, I don't, I, I don't like it more than I dislike. Um, Rags? <laughs> what? Did you finish that thought? <laughs> yeah, I did. I said, I don't like it more than I dislike <laughs> <laughs> That was perfectly timed. <laughs> it might be a sensitivity thing on his microphone, maybe. I don't know. But that's funny. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, shit. Unfortunately, it's, this is the problem isn't fixed. Um... Like I said, it might be a sensitivity thing. Maybe put the mic closer to your mouth if you can. Well, that's the thing. I've got everything. I'm pretty much right in front of it right now. And it's <laughs> turned up pretty high. That's a, I'm sorry. Here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. Shut up. So he, what I'll do is I'll restart really quick and I'll be right back. And you guys well, can talk about Rose's burning hair. Nothing. It hasn't gone wrong now in, in that entire sentence you just had. Oh, good. Uh, I'll stick around. We'll tell you if it fucks up. <laughs> Hooray. Comment because you think I'm devaluing your opinion as a fan. Not That's unavoidable. That's not my goal, but I know some of you will still feel that way, so I'll just apologize in advance. Rhinos. I'm not arrogant or foolish <laughs> enough to think I'm going to change anyone's opinion. And by I'm all never going to not see rhinos oh, on these I'm things. Not, I'm not arrogant or foolish enough to think I'm going to change anyone's opinion. Jeez. Wow. Value your own, the quality of your own thoughts. And I have to ask, does he consider us arrogant or foolish if we think we could change someone's opinion? Getting, getting back to rhinos, when I saw that rhino Photoshop, I had to stop for a second because I was like, wait a second. It didn't look <laughs> close, right? And, and, and I was like, hold on, those things didn't have horns in the movie, did they? Yeah. Like, was... it was that fucking good. I was like, I had to actually stop and be like, wait, no, that's not the actual thing from the movie. I want to know how Cinema Wins was able to Photoshop out their horn for this video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> had to go through every frame and take out that horn. He must have paused every frame. <laughs> Bro. Uh, uh, you did a thing a thing was done <laughs> yeah that, I have Wait to admit that was that, a strange comment the, I'm not arrogant or foolish enough to think I would change someone's opinion it's like oh that's oh, not well, my goal I'm, I'm confident in my abilities yeah I feel like I might change someone's mind on I mean, topics I, I know that I've I know that I've changed people's minds because they tell me oh well, yeah <laughs> I, I bet every single one of us in here has done that Multiple. Mauler, you and me did it with I Hate Everything. No, that never happened. Strike it from memory. <laughs> Re no, it, it happened. He just refuses to admit it. No! But I know some no, of you won't release the tape, and so therefore it is not real. I can't. It's against the law. Well, just, <laughs> you probably get it's away like, with it law wise, but I'd say it out of respect for I Hate Everything. He's not denied it took place. He's just said that he's not heard good arguments against the film. No, which... it, it wouldn't be cool if the guy says he doesn't want to release. So it would not be cool to release it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course not. Yeah. And there's also like a legal area where you can't record people and release yeah. it without their consent. In Britain, that's illegal, but you're in America and I don't know how that works. Depends on yeah. the state, I think. It depends Fuck. whether you have um, like mutual agreement laws or whatever they're called. Shit. I don't want to look into that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, ultimately, I don't think he'd sue you because, good God, how bad would that look for him in his life? He sued someone because they released his true opinion, blah, 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 you know. But, uh, yeah, that'd look really bad for him. Feel that way, so I'll just apologize in advance. I'm not arrogant or foolish enough to think I'm going to change anyone's opinion, and by all means, if you're here just hate-watching this video, know that you're doing the right thing. I'm not hate-watching it. <laughs> no, we didn't We didn't go in hate-watching, but some of your arguments really dumb. They were bad. Yeah, Rags, you might want to restart now. I don't know. Son of a bitch! By the way, this time I might actually talk in this uh, EFAP number two, whatever the fuck. Do you feel two, energized? Because, uh, I had a burrito, oh, more and now I have a brain, sort of. Excellent. Well, All I had before that was because, cookies. That's good, because now Rags is, you know... Fucked off. Yeah, I'll have to pick up his <laughs> fucking black, lazy bastard. Dogs, am I right? I know. Yeah, um... You know, I, I won't take it Just away from him. There may be people out there who only watch the video to get angry. But, um... Yeah, I was only kidding. I didn't. I, I wasn't assuming that he was actually talking about me personally. I was. I was. It was a joke. I made a. I made a silly voice.
I support you. I can let the hate flow through me, and hopefully you get some catharsis out of it. Uh-huh. I won't even say that you shouldn't hate it. It sucks that you feel Disney, Ryan, and Kathleen all ruined your favorite characters. And as much as controversy breeds views, I'm not here to stoke the fire of that particular war. Fair enough. Even if I don't understand or agree with your issues, you're allowed to have your opinions and you can feel as betrayed as you do. It was a cheap move. What you're not allowed to do is attack other humans over a dumb move. Wait, 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 wait. What does it mean by, what does attack mean? I think he's referring to Kelly Marie Tran getting booed off Instagram, which apparently wasn't actually tied to her getting is insults. Is that specifically what he's talking about? The fact that he's showing her while saying this makes me think that's what he's referring to. But before he was talking about hateful comments and um, I'm really curious what he gets to with this. Oh, wow. Look what he said as well. Unfortunately, the majority of you need to hear that message. Uh, fuck you. Yeah, oh, a little bit, a little bit. Fuck you. Unfortunately, the majority of you that need to hear that message will never understand. Oh, sorry. Oh, never mind. Sorry. The majority, the majority of you that need to hear that message. Okay. Gotcha. Right. And I actually agree Just with... Block. Fuck you. Fuck you. Retracted. <laughs> yeah, we've retracted. <laughs> and I actually agree with that statement. The people who are doing it are not going to have their mind changed by you saying you shouldn't do it. Yeah. The little YouTube icon was in the way of the... Sorry, that's that not bad. you part. No, it's and YouTube the rest bad. of us decent humans living in civilized society will never understand how dumb you idiots actually are. I mean, you said you didn't want to stoke the fire. <laughs> I, I really wish he had actually specified, like, if he was specifically talking about that instance, I wish he had said, like, and it also depends on how don't drive, defines. don't, don't, like, fire at the actors hired to read the part out on the screen. Hmm. You know? But he didn't say that, though. I'm curious he? Why, what he means by attack entirely. What, what if yeah. someone said to Mark Hamill... I agree with you that the criticisms of Luke's character are terrible. Everybody clap your hands! Oh my. Oh, you're back, and you actually sound like uh, you're there. Maybe. We'll see. You Great. sound you sound exactly like Rags. Oh yeah, you, you, my, you do sound like Rags, actually. I have noticed that. I sound like his what? No, not Rags. rags <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Rags. Rags. <laughs> my human and I sound uncannily similar. So who, who came first? Who copied who? Came first? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh yeah, you haven't missed anything, Rags. All he said is oh, that I, you, I shouldn't, you shouldn't be mean to, uh, to actors and stuff for why you don't like a movie. And yeah, the, the dumb people who do that won't understand a message like that anyway. So it's just like, almost uh, admitting sure. that it's redundant to say, actually, funnily enough. But hey. Yeah, kind of. But I, obviously, yeah. You- my vision of that would be, don't do it. Uh, may, it's worth saying, just don't do it. If 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 you can affect even one person out there in a positive manner, I suppose it's worth saying. So don't do it. Um, leave the, the the individuals alone. However, if said individual, like let's just say John Blumen, who worked on this film, uh, tweeted at Rags and said, "I hate your coverage of my movie. You're an idiot." Then Rags is oh, more yeah, than well, welcome. Oh yeah, I hate his group. Rags can respond. It wouldn't count as Rags attacking him. It'd be Rags defending himself. You know, there's an important difference, and that's happened. Yeah. It was uh, with Zero, I think, was the YouTuber, where Ryan Johnson said whenever they fucked up on set, they would say they zeroed it. Like, like in reference to the YouTuber. And it was weird, because the, the YouTuber wasn't even that bad compared to, like, some of the other people who would outlet the attack. As far as I know, that's that's my that's all the information I have. I probably don't have enough of it but um i mean from what i've seen from mike zero not that i've seen a lot of his stuff he doesn't seem to be that negative towards star wars not like us yeah mike zero is a couple people saying but uh strange if you followed me long enough you've probably seen me engage with some haters because hey why not i'd say 85 percent of the time we at least end the conversation they were haters he said that 85 percent of the time they end it amicably but it's kind of weird that he's calling them haters if if they ended a conversation yeah. reasonably. It's almost like a pound. It's like they're just haters. They're not really offering criticism. Oh, no. your microphone. What? Is... Son Rag of a is. fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> is every everything's back to the way you had it before you switched it, right? I'm assuming. Rag is. Rag is. Yeah. Is is every, everything back to normal from when you? I don't know. I don't know if everything's fucking back to normal. What is normal? I'm so sorry. I don't know. Normal is a construct. True. What is it? 
impeccably, no matter how angry or how many expletives they call me at the beginning. Most people are just, like, not terrible. Hey. Occasionally, I run across some gems. One commenter's excuse was, this is the internet. Is this your first day on the internet? This is how people uh, are on... As in, as in arguing with yeah. each other and disagreeing and being passionate about is, is, nonsense? Is, is he saying the person said it's their excuse for being a dick? It's the like, internet. That, that is how it is on the internet. You yeah, have to deal with that. Like, uh, <laughs> I have this opinion. This is my opinion. You do get Fuck people you know? who are like, I won't respond if you insult uh, me, Rags, and possibly Wolf Logic, whoever else uh, might agree with this, but like, I know I certainly... If you throw an insult at, or with an argument, I'll usually respond uh, if the argument's good. I don't really mind the insult a lot of the time. <clears throat> but uh, it can be used against you, of course, and yeah, uh, to not expect it would be strange when it is the internet and people yeah. are anonymous, so they will throw shade, you know, they'll be like, boom, boom. And if people just straight up come in like, you suck, you know, they just, just flat out insult and nothing else, then... Yeah, you could ignore it. It's not even really a comment. Like, it... It, it, when I go through my comments or, or tweets or whatever, if I see that shit, I'm just like, it goes in my eyeballs, my brain throws it to the side, and I keep scrolling. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It barely even exists. I don't know why people are so worried about it. On the internet. Is it I, I guess he said excuse. I suppose it's not an excuse for it being okay. Or like it should be acceptable or something, but just expectation. You should probably not be surprised if you get have it used on you. I suppose. Uh... If the internet isn't just a collection of information <clears throat> and people interacting with each other however they choose, every comment you type on this video is the internet. You are currently shaping the internet. I, I want it to be an aggressive place <laughs> where people argue with each other vociferously and uh, throw insults where they feel it's necessary. Yeah. I want it to be the fucking Wild West. Yeah. That a problem? You want it to continue being a cesspool of hate and idiocracy? And then he puts a, a seek for his own spelling? Like, what the fuck? Wait, okay. wait. Oh, sorry. It might be a bit after what I'm seeing. Make it what I, you I, want. You want it to continue yeah. being... Ah, oh, right. Yeah, there you go. Why did he put a seek there? Sick? Uh... Yeah, I don't Seek. know. Seek, it's Latin, motherfucker. They pronounce the I like an E. No, it's sick. S-I-C. It is Seek. It is Latin. S-I-K. Oh, pronounced... I thought you meant S-I-K-H. Well, wait, isn't sick an actual... You can sick on someone on something. Something. Oh, on yeah, someone. that's what it is. because it comes from the Latin adverb sick, meaning thus. Sick Latin does not pronounce the sick. I as an E. They pronounce it as an E. Sick. Seek. According to uh, Google, it's depend, sick. Depends. Depends. It it depends on what pronunciation of Latin that. You know. <laughs> no, I, I'm serious. There, because I, I took two now, years now we're arguing school. about Latin pronunciation for fuck's well, sake. Well, yeah, man. no, I'm, I'm right. God, first it's this water. God, Rex, you're such a fucking I, idiot. I, I Don't you know all Latin is pronounced? Two fucking years of Latin in high school. I, I hate you. I'm banning ways to you. Pronounce it. I took zero <laughs> years of Latin in high school, so I think my opinion matters more. Latin has short and long I sounds. Correct. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's right. Listen, learn your <laughs> conjugation. Every comment you type on this video is the internet. You are currently shaping the internet. So make it what you want. You want it to continue being a cesspool of hate and idiocracy? I mean, is he advocating that we should never insult each other ever? <laughs> Someone in the chat says Latin isn't a spoken language. <laughs> Motherfucker, you can speak it. <laughs> Well, you can speak parts of it. I mean, Try it's, speak not, it's not currently like the official language of any country at the Vatican. Yeah, everyone speak Braille from now on. But we, we know how Latin... We know how Latin what? Oh. Latin is implied. <laughs> Latin is implied. Oh, guys, I know how to speak Braille. If we all get bubble wrap, can hey, we just like hey. pop, <laughs> pop all the bubbles in the rough shape? Here we go. Oh, if, if it means Latin is no longer in use as a, a mainline language, like, I can agree with that, but it's certainly able to be spoken, is, is what... Whatever. Percy, <laughs> make that your legacy, I guess. Or you could People just are typing be... in Braille now. Hey, Wolf, you yeah. could just be not terrible. Have you ever thought about that? 
No, I, I it honestly never crossed my mind, I gotta tell you. <laughs> Latin is implied, Kylo bad. <laughs> Not terrible. To the same degree, I've witnessed so many threads under my videos turn from cursing and hatred and name calling and belittling to a polite conversation just because one person offered the tiniest apology and acknowledgement that the other person is well, indeed. Well, we expect your apology Bloody hell. for this video. Speak cursive. Just the idea that. He's like, these people recognize that they're speaking to other people. It's like, that's good, they should... People should do that more, I guess. Yeah, good. Like, for example... You, <laughs> they, they, you can still insult someone while recognizing they are a human being? I've actually... Uh, I have to reference this basically every time, but I, I... I insulted Wolf in one of my first videos before I met him. On, on The Last Jedi. It was. Yeah, it, it, was it, it, it doesn't mean I was promoting hatred and idiocracy. I just yes, it is. No platform for fascists. Oh. <laughs> really? well, what is this? Most people are decent. Test it out for yourself. <laughs> Another person. Okay, Dad. Have you ever most read people Destiny are... subreddit? No, not all people. <laughs> yeah, huh? I didn't hear any of that, right? I said it! That's what you get for picking on ER. I didn't hear any of it. You went... Oh, that's okay. I heard Destiny subreddit. Are you talking about the person destiny or the game destiny? The person, uh, yeah, because the ER stuff. <clears throat> oh, okay. I'm guessing destiny is saying something just abhorrently stupid that I don't want to watch. I know people from the uh, subreddit. Oh. Kotaku in it. Oh, man. You... I don't hear what you're saying. I don't know. Fucking shit. I don't know what it is. God, you're worse than Fringy on a good day. <laughs> Here, here's what we'll do. Give me some. <laughs> Give me <Huh>. a <laughs> second. Is is this whole half of the video just going to be about be nice to people on the internet? Well, so far it's be nice. Yeah, I'm curious where this is going to go because uh, I agree with him, but um, I don't want to put like oh. a a gauntlet down and say no insults. Does EFAP have a sub? I, we have a, um, a su uh, uh, there's a subreddit for Mauler, I think. It's there's no one really there yet, but you can go. You can, uh, Hear me? Hello. 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 Hi. Hi. Hello. This this is. <laughs> Again. Oh, Rogues. Yes. Rogues. Hello. Oh. What? Rogues. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. I'm afraid your microphone oh, no. is still tizzling. Son of a bitch. Rags, have you run a speed test? I'll do that now. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, man, it always, every significant word is what gets blocked out. I'll do that now. <laughs> the video gamer 07 says, Lugic. Yes. Oh, you know what? I can read some super chats while he's while he's doing that. Hey, Logic, longtime fan. You and Undoomed, the last of the old god atheists. I still sub to. I truly enjoy Bible Reloaded. Wait, I truly enjoy Bible Reloaded becoming regressive as hell and blocking everyone like Steve Shives. Wait, oh, does Undoomed actually? Does Undoomed actually make like any videos about atheist stuff? I don't know. I didn't know that. Uh, I don't but know anyway, the thing about Thanks, Bible though. Reloaded, I didn't know either. Uh, I haven't watched Bible I, I, I'm Reloaded. I'm not going to comment on that because I don't know what Jake has been up to or Hugo's been up to as far as blocking anyone, so mm -hmm. I'm just not even going to touch it. Fair enough. Uh, this is that's, for... good. that's really disappointing if that's true because I like those guys. I haven't watched them in a while. But... Oh, I've known those guys for fucking years. I, I don't talk to them too often, though, so I, I, don't, know what, uh, I don't know what they're up to uh, as far as that. Hello? Hello. As as block All right. policy. All right. You give it a try. Let's see if it works. <laughs> oh, oh no! Fuck! It literally came out as up. Oh, it a try. Yeah, and I from hearing it, I can't even recommend anything. So it could be sensitivity. It could be the internet. It could be like a faulty connection. I don't even know. Rip rags, indeed. Uh, this is for rags to support his alcoholism. <laughs> <laughs> Um, on my channel, I'll be doing a film series. Do you mind if I name it after you? Thinking... Dude, Rags, your ping sucks. Oh, dear. Hugo and Jake, one of their latest videos, Doomed Trash. Wait, what did you say? Sorry? What? 
what, one of their uh, latest videos is Undoomed is Trash. Oh. It's like they took on yes. Jordan Peterson about 87 times. Okay. Uh, so, we're going to give this another try. And we are going to see if all of the words are clearly enunciated from my mouth and are understandable clearly to all those who care to listen. <laughs> it sounds good when you speak that slow. I, I think was going to say, that all that worked. Out. I'm hoping it's... <laughs> Very well. I will speak at a slower tone in order that all of my words are understood clearly. You sound like text-to-speech. <laughs> also, the Bible Reloaded did turn super regressive and bitchy, I stopped watching them quite a while ago. Now they're <laughs> called Hugo and Jake. I guess they rebranded. I feel bad for logic. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> stay neutral, my friend. Stay neutral. Logic. I, I'm not. I'm not even. I'm. I'm just not even. Mm -hmm. It's no. It's fine. I, I'm I, in I'm the same not, position. I don't well, know anything well, about this. Well, we this. knew. We know you're odd. Huh? You know what? You know oh, what? that that's a lame joke. That took that was so lame it took me a while to even understand what you were getting at. I still don't that's get it. That's because you're that's mm. <laughs> anyway. yeah, that's all right. It's it's a that's a math it's joke okay, from Mala. smart kids. Um <laughs> it's it's for kids who know about numbers. And Latin. It's fucking magnets, how do they work? I don't fucking know. Oh shite. So anyway, <laughs> Alex, Alex Barker said he wants to make a series of videos named after me, and he said, is that, is that okay? It's about, oh, I think critically, that's, that's fine. you welcome to do you, my good sir. Uh, Roses are red, their stems are twisted, bend over, Wolfie, you're about to get fisted. What the fuck? <laughs> that's a super chat. I don't know. Rags, was that, some, someone put that to a muse, like a nice beat, and, uh... Rags, <laughs> did you write that? What? No. Is that is that and, you're doing? It, you got something to translate. Logic, rags, go. You you know Latin. Roses are Amo red. I have lupus, poor grammar. This guy hits down pedophiles and beats them with a hammer. I don't have any. Did you two even realize you're both speaking at the same time? No. <laughs> Roses are red. Sugars used to sweeten. Gordon Ramsay's dwarf porn star lookalike found dead and Badger didn't have eaten. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Where did you get Someone that put from? that in the same song. As um, Mahler's part. <sighs> you guys are weird. Hey, Mo, Roses you heard of are YouTube? red. Yeah. Violets are blue. If the DNA test proves you're my sister, I'll stop sleeping with you. Oh, God. <laughs> you, uh, I, I think so we're beautiful. past that point where we're all like completely exhausted from fucking Last Jedi e video. Just... Oh, I mean, well... No, we got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. Go, 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 go. You're decent. Test it out for yourself. This comment section will be a yeah, great place to do so. Be nice is the summary. So, I don't the hate Last Jedi. You. I hate The Last Jedi because it's shit. <laughs> hate me. My only... I don't hate you, Cinema Wins. You're a nice I man. You yeah, I don't hate you personally. I don't like your video, but I like... I hate well. you impersonally. <laughs> He seems Vice fine. And I don't think I think he's just trying to be a positive guy about the movie and he mm -hmm. wants people to be nice to each other. And that's fine. That is fine. I just don't think his arguments for the movie were that great, but fuck it. Mm -hmm. Who cares? Maybe he's, he's got to have more. Look how much time we got. Well, it's my channel's tagline. Liking things is more fun than not. And <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> more fun? Liking things is more fun than hate? I don't know. I don't know, man. It's fun to go on the YouTube and just watch people shit on things. I'm not sure I'd yeah. prefer to like everything. Maybe yeah, nobody wants like to everything. always watch people yeah. just being like, this is good, I like this. Let yeah. me tell you why I like this. It's fun to just rip into things, you know? I think it's fun to, you know, it's a bit of a catharsis when you hate something, or you, you fucking were annoyed by something, and then you figure out what's wrong with it. And that's fun, so. But, you know, maybe, maybe it's more fun for him, I guess. Choosing to like things can also be more fun, as in, yeah, this movie happened. And I'll take it a step further. Choosing to like things can also be more fun. How do you choose to like something? <clears throat> yeah, that's like choosing to believe something. Well, I think basically what it is, is that you say, that kind of sucked, but uh, I really want to like it, so I'm going to spend a year writing 14,000 words about why it's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, he lowered it down to 9,000. Ah. Yeah. As in... Yeah, this movie happened. As of right now, Ray's parents are nobody, Snoke is nobody, and we could have been hyperspeed ramming ships for, like, ever. I know some of you want this movie to not have happened, but it's in there nope. now, man. It's it's canon. <laughs> Why is he saying that? Right. Like, it's... Well, yeah, that's the problem. It being it's canon like is the problem. It's almost like he's saying admit defeat. 
this movie's terrible and it's real and you're gonna have to just own up to the fact that it's real and canon and you should choose we, to like it now me and wolf wouldn't have responded to it if it wasn't canon that's the whole reason like yes you're right what does that have to do with it's not a counter to anything i'm not the first Re to bring resistance up to disney's authority is futile <laughs> you know what? he's right Pyre just, just kneel before mickey Gaining reviews when it was released in 1980. I hate this argument. Empire got mean but reviews this, when it came out. Yeah, but this other movie 40 years ago... Uh... Well, it, it's just the idea that's like, this movie's a 10 out of 10, this movie's a 5 out of 10, this movie's a 0 out of 10. All three of them got bad reviews, which means they're all the same, really. Like, no. But I don't hear many people talking about why. And I think the main reason was that the trilogy was not complete. The same thing will happen with The Last Jedi. The Last Jedi is the end. It's, it's like a duology. <laughs> I am so curious, like, like, what do they think the third movie in this is going to actually change so much that it will recontextualize The Last Jedi as a brilliant masterpiece like The Empire Strikes Back? The Last know. Jedi closes out like Episode Six does, where everyone's, like, doing that pose, and everyone's like, yeah, we did it, woo! Yeah, where everyone jumps in the air and it freeze frames. Yeah. And... <laughs> and if it was the end of Episode Nine, I would be like, yeah, they're going to do another trilogy then. Because this story is tied up now. Even though it was like barely a story. But yeah, the, it's a duology and it's going to have a part 2.2 or some sh You know, like that's what episode 3 is going to be. Or oh, episode 9, sorry. Once we've moved on to another trilogy, the kids watching these movies will immediately accept that astral projection, space flying, and telepathic conversations well, the are argument canon isn't The argument isn't that they can't be. The argument is, oh god, they are. Yeah. Like I said, we wouldn't be addressing these things if they weren't canon. We understand that they are part of the law, and it contradicts other parts of the law, which makes the law fucking broken. Very I wouldn't even necessarily have a problem with those things if they actually, like, had some justification for it in the Dude, script. Jordan Peterson just tweeted out Sargon's subscribe star. Wow. Damn. Wait, subscribe star? Yeah, it's yeah like subscribe star is the Patreon alternative that he's using. Is Jordan uh, Peterson using it? Or is he not? I don't know, but um, when it, but apparently there's because I'm I'm seeing some tweets in another Discord like Matt Christensen, he was he was saying, uh, he he posted the email he got back from Patreon, and they're clearly worried about losing people. And mm. uh, Christina Hoff Somers retweeted um, Claire Lemon. Who was talking about how Patreon's clearly worried? Everybody, uh, it's brand damaging. Patreon knows it, and they're showing it, and everyone I know is talking about leaving. So hmm. this is interesting. You done fucked up, Patreon. You done fucked up. Don't put that in a video title; it'll get demonetized. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, I, I guess. Did, were we live when I told that story? Mm, when I explained that, I don't maybe think I'll, so. I'll put it. I'll put it in a video. Yeah, there you go. I'll put um, it in the video. Force powers and part of the lore. As MatPat points it out, while theories may have created the fan response, someone watching this movie for the first time, even in, say, five years, won't have read any theories and won't be invested in the plot threads that don't actually occur. That's not... It's a straw man. <laughs> yeah. What happens, happens, then... ...successful by that logic, because if you take one of 100 fan, fan theories, then 99 are going to be disappointed. Point. Contradict anything either. ...that before. When the emperor is apt. See, see, this is this feels like bad faith to me. He should be fully aware that people don't have a problem with it existing. It's contradicting. That's the problem. It's not the fact that it exists. Come yeah. On, after, man. if you're making, if you're in the Star Wars sphere, surely you've actually listened to people's arguments. Apparently, right? he's like, drafted this. Surely. Yeah, how did you get I this it, point? I see it brought up a lot in the chat. Who's Matt Pat? That's uh, game theory. Game theory, film theory, that guy. Oh, did he get referenced? I have not seen that? his TLJ video, but I, I think he made the argument that fan theories helped to, to ruin The Last Jedi, I guess. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, he could be wrong. Luke, in the last 10 minutes of the last film, I said, whoa, cool. And honestly, I was a little more enthusiastic when Luke force projected himself. Thank goodness not all the rules have been written. This yeah, like, no, but some rules have been written. Yeah, the, there you, you go. That's the counter. I can't go against old rules it's very, right? it's like yeah, we don't have simple. a problem like the rules of chess have changed over time we added like castling and stuff like that it didn't contradict any old rule does force projection contradict anything 
I, um, the, I, the I don't issue, know of anything it really contradicts. The issue that presents is that there's a lot of ways the Jedi could use it to their advantage if it was something they could pull off. What I'm willing to forgive is the idea that it takes an extremely powerful, potent Jedi. But then again, you're like, man, Yoda, you could have done this in the, in the OT to help out. <laughs> Yoda seemed to have could've his own little special ways of doing things, though, I have to say. Like... That's not good enough. He wanted to win. He was very invested in winning. So if he had this yeah. opportunity, he should be using it. If he if he was so invested in winning, maybe he should have fuck off his jungle planet and gone and fought Darth Vader or something. I mean, yeah, but if you can force I mean, project, that's even easier. Yeah, yeah, that is easier. Maybe I he didn't... did. Maybe he was like wandering around the Death Star. Maybe he like maybe he went uh, when they were drawing off the blueprints for the Death Star, and he was just like. I'll just put in like a little, a little uh, ventilation shaft right here, and they can just, shoot a laser. Uh, I'm anticipating JJ trying to plug these holes. And, like, there's just really Scribble. bad exposition. Yeah. It's kind like... of funny because I can imagine Yoda force projecting himself onto the Death Star and like getting lost, and he has to like <laughs> he's just wandering around trying to find the throne room, and he's looking at little maps on the wall and going up I and down see elevators. That movie. And like a <laughs> trooper lost. sees him, starts unloading a blaster, they're all going through him, and he's like, Where do I go? <laughs> <Just, laughs> like, Could you not do that? Where, where's the bathroom? <laughs> Where go do I? <laughs> but yeah, like, take a tinkle, I must. They talk to him in episode nine, <laughs> and they're like, Man, it would be useful if you could use that lightning you used back on Luke's uh, island. And then he's like, I couldn't do that. Because that was simply an illusion. The building was never burned, and I simply made Luke see that through the Force. And they just have lines like that throughout Episode Nine. It's just well, yeah, but then could we just be like, uh, you could use that to contradict things in the original yeah. You'd be like, why could he make too? evil people see things then, or something? I don't know. It, it's just yeah, you like can't um, fix it. Yeah. <clears throat> Though I guess technically the, this one wasn't a Jedi book somewhere, what so. Yeah, he's talking about Ryan Johnson, but that was Disney canon, so it doesn't count. Like a Disney book. It's like... It, it, <laughs> I don't want to reference it. I'll use something else. It's like going, this is true because it's in this book, and this book is true because it's in this book, and this book is true because it's in this book. Okay. It's infinite. Don't limit the Force. Why would you want to do that? How sad would it be? Yeah, because that's what everyone's asking to do, limit the Force. That's what, yeah. That's what you've been saying this whole yeah, time, that's, right, that's the fair. That's the fair representation of the mm -hmm. Earth. Everything that could happen has already happened. It's not what anyone's saying. It's not what anyone's so, saying. Yeah. You would think I'm that in your gajillion rewrites over the however long time, you would have been like, let's make sure that the things I'm saying are actually countering things that are being said. But the force, why would you want to do that? How sad would it be if everything that could happen has already happened? So, yeah. I'm going to defend this film, and I may seem a little annoyed at times because the hyperbole around this film is just plain out of control. I can say that about your video. Yeah, you have to explain how it's hyperbole. Explain how it's hyperbole. I want you to defend this fucking bomb sequence. He'd say it's subjective, and then I'd say, well, you're being hyper you're using hyperbole over defending it. And to be honest, you're playing out of control, Cinema Wins. You're playing out of control. Hyperbole is kind of like, um... Do you remember that movie? I think it was like the the people versus George Lucas, and there was those people singing that song about George Lucas raped my childhood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, that that's okay. hyperbole. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, but no one thinks that he actually raped their childhood. Well, no, obviously, but even even in the even in the non literal sense, it's incredibly hyperbolic. Yeah, it's hyperbolic. And if people say that shit about Last Jedi, that's hyperbolic. And probably some Jedi I literally raped me, and that's all. Do the you proof guys I need? agree that if you invent <laughs> scenes in the film in order to argue for its quality, you're being a bit hyperbolic? Say what? If you invent scenes in the film in order to defend the film, you're being a bit hyperbolic. Yes. Is that really yeah. hyperbolic or just um, disingenuous? Well, they're exaggerating the film, is what well, I would say, or well, at least the quality. Same. I mean, I think it would be disingenuous either way, whether or not it's just understood as being, you know, in a, that in a negative light. They're being like hyperbolic about the quality of the film. Would you agree with that? Yeah. I'm not really I think sure so. that I would I, use I the think word hyperbolic if, there, but if they I, have, I, if, I think mean. that if they have to invent scenes that didn't really exist and try to, I think that, I think it can be hyperbole. 
Yeah, maybe like I'm using it in the wrong context. Happen, Hyper just... Hyperbolic refers to the words you're using for description, right? Yeah. So it would be hyperbolic to say the film it's is like... incredible, I suppose? Or even good. I would actually argue that's exaggerating the film to say it's good. As in, well-made or well-crafted. Yeah. I, I think I hyperbolic. Think I think hyperbolic would be like this is literally the greatest film ever made type of thing. But then that that goes both ways. Is anyone saying like me and you? Us aren't saying the Last Jedi is the biggest sin man has ever created. We're just saying it's a bad <laughs> film. But I, again, we don't know what he's referring to. He just said it's hyperbolic. Yeah. Out of control. Yeah, it's vague. It's just kind of somebody said something. It's, it's, so it's kind of unclear, yeah. Even in my own comment section, there are some repulsive takes. Ew, repulsive, like you say? Like what? I don't know, he's probably referring... I would assume he's referring to the stuff like, um... I hate that there's women in the film. I mean, Major Lee seems yeah. to think people said that as well, so... Every time someone even so much as requests The Last Jedi, there's at least a couple comments telling them how dumb they are. <laughs> We're not trying to give these people their 15 seconds so you can look for yourself. I've already said, no one can take the Luke of the original trilogy away from you. Yeah, they people, fucking tried. They tried. <laughs> they fucking gave it their best Oh god, damn people shot. change. That doesn't mean Luke was secretly like this all along. People change. Uh, people change. See, people get old too, guys. That's another yeah, defense. Yeah, people just fucking change. change. We don't have to this explain doesn't... why or show why or give screen time to why, really, or Luke put any effort old. into showing us how. No, he just changed. I mean, Luke was secretly like this all along. And I'm not trying to be dismissive. These are just some of the immediate thoughts that popped into my head when the outrage began. Oh, mm -hmm. I don't think anyone foresaw how far the outrage would reach. Anyway, on to the movie. I want to start by saying that for me, this movie is a statement about our heroes. More accurately, how we perceive our heroes. The legend of Luke Skywalker. Outside of the countless books written about Luke between Return of the Jedi and this film, we only have the movies. I agree. Yeah, but those books were, like, awesome, Luke. He does all sorts of shit. Well, they're and now they're not canon. So now they're not canon. So fuck that. Now we get if mopey, you... crappy Luke. Look at those Someone stories. Someone said Luke discovered Jeb Bush and lost all hope. <laughs> <laughs> and the superhero Just wait status till that Jeb Luke sweeps the next German elections was elevated to in the years He's between better. his. Yep. The heroes, the superhero status Luke was elevated to in the years between. No, he was pretty much a. Uh, uh, doesn't need to be superhero. Just hero. He's a war hero. Yeah, and he absolutely was. He He's, saved the galaxy. That's not, you can't understate he defeated that. Darth Vader. He defeated Darth Vader and the Emperor. A lot of stories will probably throw that in. He Hero blew up the Death Star. Twice. Fucking well, Death Star. He helped right? one of... No, no so yeah, he blew up one and he defeated the... Uh... He only blew up one Death Star, Mauler. <laughs> he, he blew up the Death Star using the superpower, also. Oh, shit, yeah. That well, kind of... you... So yeah, he actually is yeah. a superhero. He kind of is a superhero. <laughs> yeah, because of the Luke Jedi, yeah. Well, well, I, I elevated it to in the year. Were the were the Jedi of the OT were they considered superheroes? Well, I was about to say everyone has the Force now, so maybe that's not even super. That's just normal. Yeah, like no. even Watto was like, "Your Force tricks don't work on me." Like it's an accepted part of the universe. True. Yeah, but I, I think that they're clearly above uh, the abilities of a normal human, right? Yeah, like most people aren't in tune enough with the Force or whatever to be able. All to All right, use yeah. The way if you want to, if you want to put it that way, yeah, yeah. I think it's gonna, yeah. Just between Return of the Jedi and yeah. this film, and we only have the movies. If you look at those stories and the superhero status the that games Luke was out and the comics no. and the TV shows, oh, that's the true. Books. Those are canon. There's yeah. there is canon outside of the movies. There is, yeah. To in the years between, his current attitude is a direct statement against that. He's just a man. He got some really lucky breaks. Was born into a. Ooh. Oh boy. Wow, way to fucking devalue Luke as a guy who just got some lucky breaks. He made a lot dude. of choices, he worked hard, oh. he loved well. It's, these are all things that aren't related to luck. Yowzers. Born dude. into a powerful family. Oh no. Listen, listen. A powerful um, family that had nothing to do. Left him in a desert alone. <laughs> Who's that really fast sprinter? Uh, Usain Bolt, fastest man in the world. He just got some lucky breaks. He didn't have to like constantly practice and practice and train and train and go through the hardships. No, he, he just you know he just got some lucky breaks. Also, I don't know if people actually want us to explore this more, but using having and using the Force should absolutely be considered a fucking superpower in the universe of Star Wars, considering the sheer large amount of people who don't have it. I understand that if you have a guy who's like a super ninja and has like a, let's say, a, a, a mace on a, on a, a line, he spins it around, you're just like, whoa, that's amazing. It's like it's superpowers. 
not quite the same. So they literally have telekinesis and mind control and if if it wasn't a superpower, what would have been special about the kid like force summoning the broom at the end? Well, this nothing. It's true. It would have um, just been some kid like getting the I don't broom. know if that's the point of this film though that everybody has it. No, I don't think so. Yeah, um, but it's Watto may be immune to mind control, but that's only because they say that like, strong minds don't get affected by mind control, not because he's a force user. I thought it was because of his species. Right. I thought his species was immune to the force influence. Um, maybe. Again, I, I I'm not 100 percent sure actually. Uh, uh, it says they they are known to be strong-willed and resist. To manipulation through the force, they are Toydarians. Yeah, I guess it is the species then. Does Watto have a dick? <laughs> Why? <laughs> to procreate, to keep the species alive, obviously. I well, I mean, I don't know. Right. Er said that you're a sweetheart, Mauler. That's not good enough. Come on the stream. <laughs> er, come on the stream. Er, I think you need to understand that people already call us evil alt right Hitler youth Nazi lovers. <laughs> So it doesn't fucking matter, man. Well, I mean, I don't know if you... I probably need to put it in a tweet. I doubt he's watching. He, he could feel totally welcome here, safe from the from the evils, you know? Would with, be your safe space. With people cut from the same cloth, damn it. Dude, like, everyone on YouTube is on your side, man. Except for everyone the Everyone on stage. <laughs> it's just the fucking crazy people. The crazy regressives just doing their thing. <laughs> Someone said, "Er, get on the stream, you slut." <laughs> yeah, slut. At we least, are Star at least Wars. Go slut. on the chat, you know, so we can see that he's alive and well. Yeah. Jesus Christ! What if they do this to someone and they kill themselves over it? I oh mean, well. Yeah. That. that I'm not sure how they react time. to that, actually. Because... Well, yeah, that's the thing. Is like you know, it's only a matter of time until they deplatform someone and ruin their livelihood, and they legit kill themselves because of it. I mean, after all the shit I had to deal with this year, I very seriously was like, I just don't even want to fucking do anything ever. So, I don't think ER is going to have that same reaction, but... Well... No, it's it's only a matter of time until they find the right person. Yeah. Yeah, well, the, the thing is, it's a bit of a controversial subject. It's like, how would they react to that? I don't know. They get very sensitive whenever anybody does anything... "Quote unquote drastic, like leaving Instagram, they will be very upset. They'll be like, your abuse has caused this event. So I wonder if they would apply that to themselves, or they justify it by saying they were an anti-Semite, or they were... Well, know, they'll just say, to... oh, look, one less Nazi in the world. Which is, uh, possible, yeah. Like, I, I really don't know how they react what, to it, considering what, how strong they are. That's what a lot of them would fucking do. Um, how strong they are with that complaint. Um... I'm gonna I'm gonna say you can come on the EFAP chat. He may or may not come, but you know, we've left the invite. Good ol' ER. <laughs> Look at so We funny. are your friend. Um anyway. Powerful family and everyone has been looking to him. Well, he said it best. I think what? I'm gonna walk out with a laser sword and face down on the whole thing. No one asked him to do that. No one asked him to do that. They just want his help. Yep. To, to counter with the OT, what the fuck was Luke doing, getting in his X-Wing and flying against the Death Star? What's he going to do, face down the entire Empire? What an idiot. So, it, the logic just doesn't fly. It doesn't fly with any part of Luke's character. It's a part of what's so annoying. He's just, he's an idiot now. Both people in universe and out. We elevated him to mythical status. <laughs> they like right, that he, thematic connection. They're like, Luke is just like he is in our world. It's like, if he saved the galaxy... You would rightfully be placed in a position that with elevation. Yeah, what, what Mark Hamill loves what Luke does to people and how it makes them feel. He he gets great satisfaction and joy from knowing that he could change people and make them feel great. <laughs> yeah, Major Bucket Eight says, "Quote from the OT: I feel like I could take on the whole empire myself." <laughs> Never mind that. Was that who's that from? Was it? It wasn't Biggs, was it? It was somebody in, um... It was the co-pilot in the... Uh, the Hoth battle, I believe, from with Luke. I can't remember the name of the guy. But, uh, yeah. Never mind that. 
the true hero of the so story of is Porkins. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he says, so of course he wants nothing to do with this. Like, of course. He wants nothing to do with it. Who could live up to that? Who could write him to live up to that? People in the chat are saying it was Dak. Oh, Dak, okay. Hey, um, remember that time I had to go to the bathroom? No. Not really. <laughs> yeah, no, nobody pays attention to your bathroom breaks, Dougie. <laughs> Um, we'll read a few super chats while he's gone, at least. Uh, I can figure out where I was. Do, do, do. Oh, there was, there was two donations about buying Rags a new microphone. I think he's okay. He's, um, he's, he's fixed it now somehow. Oh, there we go. So... Hey Muller, have you ever heard of the YouTube channel Like Stories of Old? He does psychological evaluations of movies and some of them are really interesting. Curious for your opinion. I have not heard of the channel, I'm afraid. Um, I've seen a couple of his videos. They're good? Yeah, I mean, it, I think you would be under the impression like, be a little longer on some of them, but mm -hmm. I didn't have any issue with them. Oh. I only saw a couple of them. I can't remember which one's off the top of my head. If I looked them up, I could tell you like stories of old uh, this is the same type of shit that hello Grito says if the internet was around during the time of the ot then it would have gotten a lot of hate <laughs> yeah, that's why it was you know worldwide popular and made the most money like that a movie could ever make why is everyone fucking hate it then again i i i suppose i'm a hypocrite there, cause it's like the last year i made money it's like it sure did it sure did i can't deny that uh, give this to rags you can buy a new bike as well uh yeah, and then they, they posted the the Latin thing. I think there's a translation later. You guys are great. I feel like I owe you for hours of entertainment. Hopefully, we maintain entertaining. Sometimes I ho I, I'm concerned that maybe people are falling asleep, and, you know, we don't want that. Unless you actually want to fall asleep to this sort of thing, which, you know what, to each their own. Um, wherever there's a rhyme or lyric, I appear. What's up, guys? Once there was a man called McBride. He fell into an outhouse and died. His unfortunate brother fell into another, and now they're interred by side by side. It's a rhyme. I don't, I don't know how it's relevant, you know? It's just a weird rhyme out of nowhere. Yeah. Like, Stories of Old has posted a lot about movies. He's uh, made a lot of videos on Lord of the Rings. I, I found he made a video on the gray it was really short but that's where i remembered him from i think that was the first video from his i saw from him that i saw um roses are blue so too are limes don't you tell me different i'm colorblind respect my opinion on the visible light spectrum re oh let's be honest color is implied <laughs> let's stay on colors and constructs it's latin for i love y'all wolf and rags and mola oh no love for logics oh well <laughs> Sorry, or no logic. logic. What? <laughs> Star Wars will. Hey, it, at least he has his cookies. That's true. What? 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 Did I miss something? Um, someone said they gave love to to me, Rangs, and Wolf, and I, oh. I felt, oh, I felt you I, were I named see. specifically, and that was offensive. I, I see. Perhaps you should deplatform the person who provided that donation. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars will logic is implied. Okay, fine. Uh, Star Wars will end with the great reveal that everything that happens in the movie is just two kids playing with action figures, expectations inverted. That's a possibility to escape the problems of The Last Jedi. I'm not saying I would do it, but I'm not saying I wouldn't do it. Someone said love for logic is implied. <laughs> Midichlor is introduced as canon in prequels, a way to measure the amount of force in somebody. They were hated and retconned out of the series. I don't know if they were retconned out. They still exist, right? I don't think I'm back. I don't Thanks, th guys, for waiting for me. Oh, no I think people just stopped ever mentioning them again. Yeah. The only way to fix The Last Jedi Dude. is to have Episode Nine start with The Last Jedi ending and have someone waking up. Yeah, preferably Luke or Finn from his accident. What a strange dream. Okay, yeah, watching this, I'm really happy that I didn't see Cinema Sin's video. I like his general. Oh, Cinema. So it must be Cinema Win's video. I like his general positivity, but he's straw manning and defending a lot of law problems that should be called out. Like I said, my take on this so far is it's probably the least combative of all the TLJ videos we've seen. He's still making a lot of arguments that there are counters for that he's not accounting for. That sentence made sense, right? Your silence means that it did. Excellent. Um, I agree entirely with what you said. See? Undeniable appraisal. Uh, it's true. 
The only way to fix the last Jedi is to turn out the Jar Jar Binks was behind everything from the beginning. I agree. Uh, they didn't take away Luke. I cannot watch OT or PT because of the last Jedi. Luke is not the same character when you have one flashback for why. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Um, yeah, and someone said, um, you know, about being regretful if someone was to take their life because of the shit people say online, Total Biscuit and Stanley got, like, shredded exactly. by certain people when they died, so... Um, they were they were encouraged to commit suicide. Uh, from my point of view, the Jedi are failures, Luke, yeah. From my point of view, the Jedi are failures. <laughs> Great channel. Well, thank you. Uh, how does Rey talk with such conviction about Luke saving Vader when she just found out he wasn't a myth two days ago? Yeah, it's just... Fuck it. Why not? That's That's the attitude there. Uh, really, Luke's new philosophy in The Last Jedi is just Ryan Johnson trying to make himself look smart, but when you actually analyze these lines, they make no sense. Oh wait, turn your brain off, I forgot. Exactly! Yeah, it, you need to focus on the themes. They should have uh, used a different character for this whole hero thing. Uh, preferably somebody who was trained by Luke Skywalker and didn't live up to being a Jedi, as Luke has created this, you know, idea of what a Jedi is, if they wanted to do that story. You could have made that the story after this trilogy. This is the trilogy where our OT heroes complete their, their stories. You don't have to kill them all, but whatever. And then, you know, Luke's best student struggles under the, the pressure of trying to live up to his master or something, and that could be a storyline. But instead, you fucking forced it onto Luke Skywalker, which was the most inappropriate character. Theme, theme, theme. Sorry, but Mark Hamill doesn't get to decide who or what Luke becomes. As Ooh. much as I love his honest Jeez, and even his Christ. lack of ego for letting Ryan do what he thought was best, and side note, killing it in a role he fundamentally disagreed with, using the fact that Hamill was upset doesn't really mean much to me. Rip. <laughs> I mean, it's not like we define whether or not something's right or wrong in a film if an actor says it's right or wrong, but we've always stood by the fact that there is insight into Luke Skywalker from Mark Hamill, undeniably. Yeah, I would imagine nobody knows Luke more than he does. Even more than Lucas. He has to, Mark, I, wouldn't, I don't know if I'd say he's a method actor, but he's said several times he wants to get into the mind of the people he's playing. He wants to know their history, why they do everything, and then he can play them better. And apparently, this guy isn't the one you trust to find out what Luke would do, so. And he's not included the part where Mark actually said that he kind of regrets what he says. I'm interested that he hasn't included that, but hey, fair enough. And I'm not going to say that you misunderstood the original trilogy if you came away thinking Luke was the optimistic center of the universe. He was. We all took our own truths away from those films. I think we can all agree that hope has been a main theme throughout Star Wars. Uh, Leia is always talking about... <laughs> well, what do you hate hope now, Rags? I do hate hope. Fuck hope. Hope is an excuse for doing nothing. Don't disagree. But it's Luke and the title of episode... Leia is always talking about it. Yeah, fair enough. Floor, and now Ray and the Resistance are the physical embodiment of it. <laughs> physical embodiment of hope? Oh, are they? Is By that does he mean a person who thinks about hope? I don't know. I does he mean do physical represent? Know. I don't even... That was just a weird line. Fair enough. Themes. I think people were Themes. upset by who Luke became because he had lost his hope. But like I said in my Return of the Jedi video, even he was deceived in the end. Some of you disagree with... Huh? See, but is he talking about the the thing he saw in Kylo's head, or was he talking about? Was he, we don't know if he was wrong or not, or what exact. I mean, like we don't know if that was a premonition, or if it was bullshit I mean, created by Snoke. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah, or bullshit created by Snoke. That's the thing. Um. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what I was referring to. With my interpretation, but to me, Luke had to use the rage of the dark side to beat Darth Vader he went up to and may have slightly crossed the line, the difference being that he turned back. But in that moment, he learned that the line between light and dark isn't as clear as it seemed. Yeah, sorry, you can't just extrapolate that scene onto this one and say, it totally makes sense, yeah. this lines up. Completely they different. were completely different completely situations different. Different. with completely different nuance. I can't believe these people just don't get it. How can you keep making this argument when there's clearly a totally different situation behind it? He tried to regain his hope one more time when he took Ben Solo in, and once- What? Is he saying that he was- he became disheveled Luke immediately after episode 6, and then he okay. took Ben in in hopes to undo that? 
You ever Gantz feel like a Ryan doesn't understand sec- characters? Oh, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Solo in. And once again, chose a dark path for a split second, ironically seeing his robotic hand holding a lightsaber, just like with his father. Uh-huh. Oh, I keep it Only this time it was too late to turn back. The damage was done, this time he'd already swung that killing blow as far as Kylo was concerned. And you really can't blame that on this film. What do you mean we can't blame that on the film? It's in the film. It's in the film, and the film decided it would be in there. The film... Uh, they chose to have it in there, man. It's like writing yourself into in a corner. The... It's like, don't do that. This film, that's where we were headed after Force Awakens. I felt confident predicting it. Just like Master Ugwe says, one often meets his destiny on the road he takes to avoid it. Yeah, he that's the fucking co- nonsense. That, that's <laughs> fucking nonsense. Bullshit. One often meets his destiny on the road he takes to avoid it. Yeah, yeah sometimes, sometimes I mean, you're going to reach an but... ending no matter what, and then if you just say yes, well, you, we are... there's so many ways to interpret that line. It's it's one of those, like, ooh, it's well, it's so wise. It, it, is in, it is unhelpful in every way. It's, it's weird that he pulling in Kung Fu Panda references and um, Wreck-It Ralph references, but fair enough. Often closed on Ben's dark side allegiance in that moment. So at that point, he... no, he didn't because they still were curious as to whether or not he'd be a good guy in the first one and in this film too. After that scene, so even by the film standards, they disagree with you. He decided the use of the Force was not a good thing, and he cut himself off. That's why he has no clue what's going on in the galaxy. The use of the Force was not a good thing. That is not what Luke said. Luke said it doesn't belong to the Jedi. He cut himself off from the Force, and that seems shameful. If you remember Ray's reaction, she was like, you cut yourself off from the Force, and he looks down like... Almost like he's been caught masturbating or something. Ugh. And I don't, I don't exactly understand why he cut himself off from the Force after he makes the argument that the Force is for everyone, it doesn't belong to the, the Jedi. Was it ever established before this that you could cut yourself off from the Force? Apparently it was in one of the games, but... Force Unleashed. Yeah, so it's yeah. I'm Nailed not too the bothered by that, but I'd like them to explore it a little bit further than just saying I did it. Yeah, like is it a switch that you can turn on and off, or what exactly? <laughs> Masturbation was implied. Been <laughs> <laughs> closed on Ben's dark side allegiance in that moment. So at that point, he decided the use of the Force was not a good thing, and he cut himself off. I love that. The use of the Force was not a good thing. It's like, what does that even mean? Is the... just don't use the Force. Isn't that like? The Force, arguably, is a tool slash weapon. So how you use it would be what defines whether or not it was good or bad, not the existence of it within you. I don't know. Whatever. That's why he has no clue what's going on in the galaxy. But I understand that's why he has no clue what's going on in the galaxy. Yes, I agree with that conclusion. Yeah, Luke we, went into yeah ex- I see why. Is How did we get here to this point? The use of the Force is not a good thing. You know what? Right. Let's go into my video. What is? The use of the force is not a good thing. Just vaguely, generally. Okay. Exile because he thought the Jedi weren't helping anything. Which, based on evidence and history, they weren't. It was a Sith who destroyed the Emperor while the last Jedi was being sizzled for sticking to the light side. Thanks to a Jedi convincing him to come to the light side. <laughs> Are we just going to ignore those details? I know that's an obtuse interpretation, but... No, he, he admits that it's... <laughs> it's not even... What's the point? But also very literal. Hope was no longer a luxury Luke could have. Why? Yeah. What do you even mean? Huh. And I can't blame him for that. He failed his sister, failed his brother-in-law and best friend, and in failing his nephew- Yeah, all these things happened after he- you, you've, you've apparently claimed he lost faith, because you said he took in Ben uh, as an attempt to try and regain hope. And by the way, these failures- as a result of the writing. They're not things that Luke had in his repertoire already. He didn't have to fail. The writers made it so he failed. Not even JJ yeah. made it so he failed. This was Ryan. Yeah, this is pretty fresh. They just made this up. I, that's why I'm so curious to know what JJ had in mind. Created the new Darth Vader. Pfft. You had created the new Darth Vader. If that's not a reason to sideline yourself, what is? I agree that he would lose faith in himself if he did all those things. We're saying those things don't match his character. Yeah. And we didn't see enough of them anyway. We saw a 10 second flashback and a couple of lines of ex- exposition. But that's just the first two acts of the movie. 
After a chat with Yoda and the realization that Ray didn't need to- You say the first two acts. Is he gonna count the fact that there's four acts in this film? <laughs> I wonder. It's a, it's a very jumbled structure. To be a Jedi in the sense that he'd accepted, Luke found hope again. Ray didn't need to be a Jedi in the sense that he'd accepted, Luke found hope again. Yeah, one quick chat with Yoda and Luke completely undoes his 30 year distance from episode 6. Thanks for waiting 30 years, Yoda. What a pathetic character that Jeez. his entire mindset, a wise controlled mindset, is altered when Yoda says the best teacher failure is. Wow. And... whatever. He found hope Watching again. her ask the dark side for help, as he once did, reminded him he didn't need to be afraid of the Force. Watching her ask the dark side for help? What's he talking about? She... I guess he thinks that in that sequence, she was reaching out to the dark side in order to... give her something? Is he talking about when she goes into the hole? Because he's showing yeah. this clip, so I'm assuming not. Well, but he said, I think this is for the next, the next thing he says. And he literally marches out to face oh. the First Order with a lightsaber, knowing full he well he's going to die. Much. And by there. That's not what literally means. <laughs> no, it's not well. Oh with boy, here, here we go again. Yes. We don't use this new age bullshit, postmodernist, cultural Marxist definition of literal. That can mean, oh, no. Words, no. I put my foot down there. What if, what if you woke up tomorrow and everyone referred to a car as a plane and a plane as a car? How long would it take you before you adopt the reverse if everyone disagrees with you? I'm not saying that's the scenario we're in now, but I'm Literally curious. Literally was implied. <laughs> Because I'd be like, why did you relabel these words? Oh, well. No. Exactly. I would like that be like, like too, but eventually you'd have to just change, because the whole reason we use language is to communicate with other people. No, I don't have to change. <laughs> it's the children who are wrong. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's rewind him back a bit there. It's hard to keep track of all of his... Um, what's a, what's a non-insulting version of nonsense? Um, Idiotic. Well, no, that's insulting. I would say... I, I, I think you already said the insulting word. I'm asking. So. No, no. <laughs> I didn't say it yet. I'm asking. Um, I, I'm you, you didn't, didn't say it. You just. Okay, what, what, what was the word that we're looking for? I, idle musings. Synonym of nonsense. This will be easy. I, I'm pretty Absurdity, sure it's what you babble, baloney. Baloney. <laughs> baloney, yeah. Uh, baloney. This, this foolishness, is... gibberish, joke, madness, rubbish, silliness, stupidity, trash, boulder dash, bananas. <laughs> <Baloney. laughs> this is folly. More posh than you this do. is claptrap. <laughs> fatuity? <laughs> what the hell is fatuity? Fortuity? Fight, fi flightiness. Fun? How Guys, is it's, fun? It's, it's folly, obviously. Palava. Oh, I'm calling it Palava. I'm afraid your video is constructed of Palava, Mr. Cinema Wins. Palava. Total baloney. Didn't Sir, this video of... is folly. <laughs> Stop horse, now. Poppycock. And he literally <laughs> marches out to face the First Order with a lightsaber. Boulder dash. Boulder dash. <laughs> he literally marches out. It's like, I mean, he figuratively does, because he's not really there. He's real enough to cast a shadow and make noise, but not real enough to... Oh, apparently his name is Lee. That's awkward, considering the other Ooh. Lee. Oh, it's, maybe it's a thing. <laughs> With Lees. <laughs> can't trust those Lees, man. God damn you Lees. can't trust the Lees. Knowing full well he's going to die. And by doing something so legendary, he sparks the hope that his physical form never his could have done. Physical form he could embodied have that legend in a way that no one had before. I can't. What? What do you Jesus mean that he Christ. never could have before? What? <laughs> he couldn't. You see, Luke couldn't have done anything meaningful or impactful like this. Him. I gotta, okay, I gotta hear it again. Body. He didn't need to be afraid of the Force, and he literally marches out to face the First Order. He was never afraid of the Force anyway, but um, or with a lightsaber, <sighs> knowing full well he's going to die. Well, who, who are you talking about? Whose name was Lee? Major Lee. Uh, oh no, no, no the other one. This guy's name is Lee, apparently. Oh, well, Cinema Sins Sins just commented saying his name is also Lee. 
Retard. That's where I got the <laughs> fucking statement from. Retard? <laughs> oh. God, Wolf, pay attention. Oh, I, I, thought you were talk oh, I, th I thought you were talking about this guy, Cinema Wins. Yeah, he's called Lee. Cinema, Cinema okay. uh, Sin Sins is Jay. But he just said his name was Lee. No, he's talking about Cinema Wins when he said that. What the fuck? You can't read. <laughs> his name, oh, his name is Lee. Okay, I thought he said my name is Lee. Lee <laughs> Okay. Oh shit, oh. I just insulted you. Please don't ban me. No, we just, we read our chat. Chat, don't say that. That's a naughty word, but it is clever. <laughs> it's naughty, but I like it. Doing something hell, so hell, it's, Theo, it's Theo tree. His Theo physical tree. form could never have sparked the hope that he sparks by doing this. This legendary thing. Sparks the whole name. Oh, we're not gonna so we're not gonna explain how words of these deeds um you know how how they spread across the galaxy so quickly. We don't know how word got out. It's so or funny why... to me as well because um you be let's let's pretend for a second we're all in the Star Wars universe and then they go, Have you heard the legend of Luke Skywalker? And let's ignore the OT. You're like, what is the legend? It's like this is a guy who walked out in front of an army of those, have you seen those First Order walkers? And you're like, yeah, what did he do? Well, they shot at him, like they all shot at him and he like didn't die, and they disappeared. And you're like, okay. Well, what does that mean? Why is that inspiring? It's like, well, he didn't die, he faced them. And you're like, who was he? Why? Like, uh, he's trying to show that they're not so powerful. And you're like, so where's this guy now? And you're like, well, he's dead. Why is this an inspiring story? Does anyone? <laughs> I, I, I got nothing. I need... Well, a lot of this goes into world building. Like, how much did the First Order control, you know, galactic image and propaganda? And how much do they control communications? And how much... I mean, because the idea that some ragtag bunch of survivors hops off a ship, a ship, and they're like, yeah, Luke Skywalker, he appeared as a magical apparition, and he fought off the First Order, uh, but he was really just a ghost, <laughs> and then he disappeared, and then he saved us all. And I was like, I wonder how convincing that would be to people? Like I said, I'd just be confused asking people what the hell happened. I'd be like, I don't... What are you trying to tell me? And it's like, a ghost went and attacked the First Order? Is that what you're saying to me right now? <laughs> what? Yeah... Someone said, there is literally no rhino. Lee Baggins. Lee Baggins. Spectral rhinos are still rhinos. Hashtag not all <laughs> spectral rhinos. Hope that his physical form never could have done. He embodied that legend in a way that no one had before. I can't help but love that so much. I really feel like anyone who says Luke should have actually shown up wasn't paying attention. Uh, Ooh, you're uh, supposed to not be combative, ooh, Lee. Wow, sorry. Don't so do that. It's mean. Okie doke. He had a way bigger impact as the legend than a physical being. Motherfucker, no. he was a legend before and he had a physical <laughs> he being. He already admitted that. Fucking already video. did this shit. Why? Non combatively. Non -combatively. How long did you write this for? Because it's bad. A year. Oh, <laughs> God. Why? It's so bad. Why would you contradict yourself like this? You could be could be as much of a legend if you had a real body. I mean, that's why you'd have he's understood that if you were actually paying attention. Belch. He wouldn't have been able to do anything if he was really there. Uh, the same results would have happened. He gets shot jags. at and murdered, or he gets shot at and holds the lasers in place and fires them back, or just dissipates them, and then Kylo comes down and fights him, and Kylo kills him. The scene is exactly the same. Instead, he was a ghost. Or, or he just doesn't, like, he, surely there could have been other things he could have done instead of just walking out there as like, hey, bitches, I'm Luke Skywalker. You know, surely there were other things he could have done during all of that time, like the buildup of the Empire and all this stuff. And maybe, what if he, what if he showed up and he lifted the rocks? Yeah, that actually would have been cool. I mean, Jesus, that would have been so cool if it was him, if Luke was doing it. And you're like, yeah, I'm fucking Luke Skywalker, lifted up well, a fucking mountain. That's the third solution, because the, the three solutions I've always had to the, the fucking stupid hick moving the rocks is one, make it so that she's 
basically in anguish doing it and potentially bleeding from the nose. Basically, she has to try her best to have it done. And you can have Finn being like, Ray, help, on the other side. So it's a bit emotional, and she actually isn't just super-powered. But no, just have him move them casually and half falling asleep while doing it. Two, have her and Leia do it together, just because, I mean, we've gone Girl so power. far with Force at this point, you may as well. Or three, yeah, have Luke do it. Fuck it. Have Luke do it. Luke show, I mean, he's got the, he's got the X-Wing. They could be like, he fixed it because he's so fucking, oh, he's fucking Luke Skywalker. I love this, though. He's just like, you guys weren't paying attention. He wouldn't be able to do anything if he was really there. It's like, <laughs> and then you say so. Luke could have moved the rocks and they could have escaped. <sighs> oh, sorry. He would have been able to do a second, it. didn't it? Hmm? Because <sighs> I only took a second for us to think of a counter to what he said. It's like, that must be embarrassing. Hey, it took him a year to write this. How dare you? Oh, well, maybe he should have taken two years. That's true. Anything if he was really there. I guess the other option was Superman Luke? I just can't... Yeah, uh, we've he gone over this before, to. but for some reason everybody assumes that if you don't like what they did, then you expected him to literally fly around and stab everyone with a lightsaber and start shouting Yahoo and stuff, and I'm amazing, Yahoo! and deflect every... And it's just like, why does he have to be that? Why is there no in-between with you people? <laughs> why, does, why is that what we want? Almost seems like you're using a, our position and exaggerating it to make us look more unreasonable. Do they have a word for that in argumentation? I can't remember. I don't think so. They should. Someone should. Yeah. I like, I like that they could, because it seems to happen a lot. See a way in which Luke's showing up and tearing Gorilla Walkers why apart would you, Why would that be the only his... thing that he would have had to do? No, nothing else can happen. That's... Yeah, it's like, that's the only thing that could have happened. He would have had to go out there and destroyed every single one. Even though they don't do that in the movie as it is. So, I don't even know why he would think that. Because that's not what happens in this version. <laughs> they call it lying. <laughs> they call it lying. <laughs> Film. Once you make him Super Jedi, where do you go from there? <sighs> Don't rewrite the movie with someone else's suggestion and then dishonestly try and conclude from it when you don't even have them there to talk about it. Don't bother. That's never what Star Wars has been about. As if you understand what Star Wars has been about. Don't get me wrong, Vader's complete ponage in that hallway is thrilling and I wouldn't trade it for anything, but that was less than what I've seen people expecting of Luke. Luke was never supposed to get God Mode. He's always been a conflicted kid. No, he's not always been a kid. And not, not everyone is saying he should have God Mode. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, this guy looks like a kid to me. What, Kylo? <laughs> no, Luke. Oh, right. Old, sad, miserable, <laughs> on the verge of death Luke. He's always been a conflicted kid, God. In the end, Luke gave up everything to embrace his legend status in a wholly unique way. But enough about Luke. He's a winning, countering shit. Makes me taste hard to take you seriously. Not even really one of the main characters, but I felt like I needed to explain why I liked his portrayal in this film. Uh, you did a oh, poor job, but I'll accept that you're welcome to like it. My one of the main mind themes has in this... not been convinced. Oh no. And your reasons are terrible. Oh no. What? One of the main no, themes. No, one of <laughs> no. the main. Like, that's the thing. You can have so many themes. The theme of hope. The theme of failure. The theme of sauerkraut. That don't fucking matter. <laughs> you can have a theme for anything you want. And was you it, can mish it just and realized. mash it and scramble it up in any way you want. And somehow it'll still magically all come together Is in some dead? subtle, symbolic way. Logic. What? I thought you were dead. Thank God. What? How come? I, how come I, you're I, I, next close. to me now, and Wolf and Maul are on that side? Look, I was getting a little lonely, and you weren't giving me the attention I needed. So <laughs> I was focusing on the video, Wolf. Wolf. Well, this is important. Hey, I'm important too. You'll be here tonight, but this oh. has. There are people watching this. I know. For them, I don't owe them anything film is failure. Almost every plan put in place has at least a piece that fails. As if you can't apply that to basically like every film that ever has plans in it. As if everything goes perfectly all the time. Poe destroys the dreadnought, but every bomber is destroyed. How else? How yeah, could that seed have ended any other way? <laughs> yeah, that's a big, yeah, it's a big fucking loss. Oh no, we don't have our useless ass bombers. Oh no. Yeah, I consider it a weird we, exchange. Yeah, three bombers. Or was there, how many? Five? Uh, I want to say a five. bunch of fucking bombers. Five, five obviously shit bombers. You know, thinking about it, you Exchange know how they, they blow the up here? 
you'd think the explosions would be massive, right? Yeah. Because of the yeah, because of the bombs. And it would just blow the shit out of everything in the fleet. Because the explosion is enough to take out the dreadnought, for Christ's sake. Like, hmm, I didn't even think of that. There's this sort of thing. Wolf's been saying it for a long time, but whenever you take a critical eye to the Last Jedi, it never ends. Like you just keep watching it or looking over things, and you're like, oh. There's another thing. Oh, there's another thing. Five and a half hours is nowhere near enough to cover the Last Jedi's issues. It just goes on and on. I need Thoris. Rose and Finn find a code breaker, but he ends up selling the resistance out. Because they were caught. He never intended to do that from the beginning. He was actually helping them. But sure. Holdo sends the transports to the planet, but a lot of them are destroyed and she has to. She should have could have hurried up. <laughs> because a bit. she fucking has a retarded plan. You know, I don't disagree. A lot of the characters make stupid decisions. You're right. Die to save them. But through failure, each character grows and changes. How does Holdo grow and change from her failure? She dies. How does Ray grow and change from her failure? How does Paige Tico grow from her failure? How does Finn grow and change from his failure? Well, in fairness, Paige Tico grew into about a thousand different pieces. <laughs> And she's That's currently not... floating around in space somewhere. I don't think of that so much as multiplication as I do division. That's true. And true. Asians, are, Asians are good at math, so it's very important that you get those two right. Yeah, wolf. I'm sorry. Dick. That's okay. I, I, okay, well, in fairness, Rose go outward. Okay. Initially, yeah, Ray came to convince Luke yeah. to come back. Essentially embraces she the dark side only to essentially embraces the dark side. What? What are you talking about, Lee? I am legitimately curious what he means by that. Touching and a wall you... is embracing the dark side? It's a dark wall. What are you talking about? <laughs> to get no answers, and then falls into Snoke's trap to then be betrayed by Kylo one last time. She looked over past in The Force Awakens. Kylo, uh, she was hoping he would turn. He still kills Snoke, which, uh... Is undeniably a pro in the, in the pro con I mean, column. Good. Yeah. So as much as he didn't turn to the good side, he got rid of Snoke. So that's a high five. I'm sure she's at least happy with that. But uh, it's dumb anyway. The fact that she wants him to turn when she's supposed to be extremely angry at him for what he did to Han Solo, but apparently that got forgotten over a scene. The thing holding her back. This ever present. Who am I? And where do I come from? Which brings me to one of the most hated versions. You have no place in this story. You come from nothing. You're nothing. I don't see the you're nothing message as some inclusionist propaganda. What? Inclusionist, uh, propaganda. inclusionist propaganda? No, I've Who? never heard it called that. Uh, I've never heard that I've, argument. I've never, ever heard that called inclusionist propaganda. I have no idea where he's pulling I, this from. What does that mean exactly? Like, they're trying to promote that everybody's okay? Something? Yeah, I guess they're trying to say that this this film is so inclusive that you can be special even if you don't come from any place special. Anyway, I'll just kick on because I... <laughs> so that's Here's why. weird. When the first Star Wars was released, Luke was the son of a long-dead Jedi who some old guy spoke highly of. As far as he knew... I do I Okay. His parents were nobodies, and soon even his adoptive aunt and uncle were dead. Luke was a nobody. Sure, he ended up being the son of the most powerful Jedi and Sith ever, but that's not where we started. Star Wars became a story of important bloodlines, but that's not what made us relate to Luke. He was just a moisture farmer who wanted to join the rebellion. I don't disagree. What's your point? I'm glad Rey is no one. Because now we've circled back around to anyone can make a difference. The world has been open Oh the fucking wind counter. Um the problem isn't that anyone can become a well-trained Jedi. N notice how I said well-trained. <laughs> anyone, I mean... Is it not I just, like, incredibly pretentious that he gives himself wins? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. He's like, like isn't sucking it, your own dick every once in a while, like, that's true, I'm right on that. Dig. <laughs> I mean, jeez, I just want to get people to suck my dick for me. Christ. Yeah, Listen. I mean, we'll get around to that later tonight. Yeah, boy. But the message here is like Ratatouille. It's like not everyone can become a famous chef, but a famous chef can come from anywhere. Yes. The uh, exact same thing as Becoming a Jedi. Ratatouille is a much better film than The Last Jedi. We don't, like, Ratatouille. we don't like seeing someone who's powerful without having earned it. Uh, if you embrace the quick route to become powerful, you become a dark side user. You have low morals. You're, you're detested by a majority of people. 
while someone who works hard and fights for what they love and everything, it, it, which can lead to the dark side, by the way, but, it, you know, it's very simple. Like, it, we, we, we don't, as an audience, want to see somebody who becomes extremely powerful and altruistic, godlike, without having to do shit. Okay? It's not about her surname mattering. I don't, I don't even know how many people are making this argument, to be honest. I'm not saying no one is, but how many people are saying Rey should have been a Skywalker just because that would be cool? Yeah, I mean, I kind of, and it kind of makes the scope of the universe seem smaller too. Everyone's just fucking related to this one family. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm, I'm in favor of uh, not making her a Skywalker or a Kenobi, but you make her a nobody, me, and it gets a little bit yeah, confusing. Tell me why she is so incredible at everything without trying. Open back up. Oh. How can you hate that message? I've hit a lot of the main issues people had with the movie. Wait, it doesn't sorry. matter. It doesn't matter what the message is. It's if the message is portrayed well in the film. Well, uh, he's like, how can you hate that message? The message that anyone can make a difference? What? In, who? Who in the world hates that message? Yeah, that's you can not... have a a message that's good, but if it's not portrayed well in the film, then people will have an issue with its portrayal. It's a little bit of a straw man, if you ask me. To oh, anyone. Wait, that make a difference the world has been opened back up how can you hate that message i've hit a lot of the main issues has it been opened back up it's just because to, to me in a way it like sure it has in a way but at the same time it's almost like you're throwing darts at a dartboard it, it, it has this element of just randomness to it where your success or failure it, it, here's the thing with ray if she doesn't work for it if it's just who she is then what hope do we have it doesn't matter if we train or not We'll never be as good as that because it's just given to us and taken away from us arbitrarily by some unseen force, for lack of a better term. But if we see her, like, I could believe that I could be a Luke because you see Luke suffer and you see him overcome his obstacles and you see him grow and change and develop and he works hard along the way. But how do you see yourself as Ray? Yeah, I don't know how anybody empathizes with Ray ever. It's like, what were you? Were you born perfect? <laughs> it's like, yes, yes, I was. And someone in chat says the Force Awakens introduced her parents as a plot point. I mean, uh, it introduced them as something she was going to be searching for. But Maz Kanata did say they don't fucking matter. Move on. Yeah, and then she's like, okay. And, and they could have done something with that. Like, this is why you want to be part of the rebellion. There are a cause you care about. Which is, and this is something that you can latch on to. Which comes into the other problem of uh, her motivation. But uh, we, even with Maz saying that, we don't have an explanation for Ray's power. That's the, uh, the other problem. So, yeah, it's just so goddamn confusing. Movie, but let's just knock a few out quick. I feel I need to offer rebuttals to the rest of them, not because my interpretation is the only correct one, but maybe to give those on the fence that feel swayed by the long list of issues some different options. No, 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 but you said earlier that it, it, you don't believe, you're not arrogant enough to think that you can change people's opinions. You're not going to let him be a hypocrite, Rags, really? Come Look, on. No, I'm better than that. <laughs> I'm not going to let you be a hypocrite on my watch, okay? Rags is growling. I don't know. I'm not. I'm really not. I'm smiling no, out I of just... sadness. <laughs> smiling with sadness. I'm smiling with sadness. All around me are familiar faces. Well, hey, he he's hoping to change some people's minds while also not being arrogant or foolish enough to try and change people's minds. This makes sense. He doesn't think that he Basically, can, but he's... He wrote, okay. rewrote this over a year and he didn't pick that one up. That's fine. Listen, the thing is that... <laughs> video. 9,000 words, man. The theme of this video is hope, because he hopes that he can change someone's mind, even though he's not arrogant enough to think that he can do that. But he hopes that he can. Good Even Lord. though he thinks he can't. And that mixes in with the theme of failure, because he's, gonna, he's been failing, changing my mind this whole video. Apparently he so did this see. with the prequels, so it's all fair game. You know, he does it with every oh, okay. one of them. It's all, it's all fair. Oh, okay, okay. Basically the same thing I did with the prequels. Spoiler alert, you're not dumb if these things didn't bother you, because a lot of them are nothing. I don't think whether a wish... plot point bothers you is about your intelligence. I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah, it could just be perception. Then again, I don't know if Wolf <laughs> wants to weigh in on that. 
Uh, not entirely, because you can accept a problem in that, you know, not think it has uh, too much bearing. Like uh, episode three, for example, there's a ton of issues, but I can ignore a good amount of them because I was like, eh, it's it's not that horrible of a movie. You okay, right? It's when you, like, deny it. Just, like, singing to himself or <laughs> something. Um. Yes. Yeah, it's his mating ritual. He does this every night. Oh no 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 no! They, they make different noises for my, mate, my mating ritual. Well, I well yeah, but you know, I don't. Uh yeah the the idea <laughs> of saying like the X doesn't bother me. It's just like, all right then. Can anyone or, hear me? Hello, logic. Yes. How do you do? I'm duct taped to a chair in Rags's basement. Oh. Can someone I don't help have me? Have a basement. But I'm based. Grown. Oh, hey, today. Uh, well, it why, looks why, like why, 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 why? Interstellar space. What? What? Uh, Voyager two has entered the space between solar systems today. Ooh. Yeah. I've never met it Voyager launched, two, so. It launched in 1977. <laughs> Where is it going? I'm guessing next one, uh, Proxima Centauri or something, or Alpha Centauri, whatever the hell it's called. Um. I, I have That's to get... the nearest one, I think. Remember? It's just going away. It's not going to hit anything. Remember how you just reminded me when uh, there was some kind of argument that got brought up about Infinity War, about how far they've traveled. And uh, we said, I, I remember saying to you, Wolf, just some statement about how they were outside. They were f fucking far away. And then you were like, they're not far away. They're on uh, Saturn's moon or whatever, Titan. Yeah, because they named the planet the same but... thing that a moon is already. I get, I get it, but it's just funny. It's like you really think Thanos is cre like Thanos' entire species were that close to Earth. <laughs> well, I well I don't know. You don't name a planet the same thing as a moon that's like right next to us. I feel like you would have crushed our planet. Ah, on. yes, Titan's first moon, Titan <laughs> of the Titan system. Anyway, located in the really Delta don't Titan. We already talked about why Holdo didn't owe Poe an explanation, just like in real life. You haven't expl- Okay. <laughs> Ask anyone in any branch of the military how Poe would have been treated for questioning a vice admiral the way he does. Um, this is well after she's let her entire crew think there's no hope. So, you can ask any yeah. military personnel how a mutiny works. It's an actual thing. So here, yeah, just because you're a, a, a vice admiral doesn't mean that you're a dictator and you can do whatever you want. Exactly. Genuinely, I, I mean, got a if, sigh of relief when he, he, he committed to the mutiny in the film. I was like, oh, thank Christ, he's actually he's like, doing Christ, something. They won't all die now. I would have, they all died anyway. <laughs> I would have supported him in real life. I would have been like, fucking hell, Poe, we need to knock this I idiot been like, out. Yeah, hell yeah, let's fucking not die. I let's would have suggested that. the mutiny. Yeah, let's let's do the not dying thing. Fuck yeah. And there's like one guy on the team who's like, we should kill them too. He's like, we don't need to kill them, we should kill them. You're like, oh. <laughs> I, mean, like I, guess, I guess we could. Like, oh, I'm gonna level with you. This purple hair bitch. <laughs> what the hell, man? It's like, I don't. I didn't fucking vote for her. It's like, Holdo, you, you have purple hair, you wear a halo, and you have a ball gown. What and your you neck is just absurdly long. <laughs> it's wrong. You shouldn't. You would be, you an alien. It's I get wrong. why it's annoying because it feels so convenient to the Look plot, at it. but he describes it as realistically. No, he's saying it's realistic. Sorry, convenient doesn't mean it's not realistic. Um, convenient to the plot. That's interesting. You'd say it's inconvenient to the plot, or inconvenient to Poe. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make any sense. The exclusive. Shite. And goodness, you have to squint to turn this into an anti-patriarchy. Uh. Mm, no, I don't think you have to squint. The fact that there's it's undeniable that people associate purple hair with Tumblr and stuff like that. That's 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 definitely part of society right now. Message. I'm not saying that The Last Jedi is definitively anti patriarchy, but uh why would you have a purple haired character? That's very like hmm okay. And why would her second in command be a Jew with like the extreme stereotype nose? I don't know if she's actually Jewish. <laughs> I don't know if she. I don't know. If I, hey, man, happened. I'm just saying, curly hair, big nose. Mm. I don't know what that has to do with being Jewish, and I don't know if um, the does Judaism exist in the Star Wars? Universe? Probably not. 
<laughs> because it was a long time ago. That's and that true. and the Torah was written a long time ago. But uh, people right? did definitely say it was anti-patriarchy. So what I'm trying to say is, well, he said you well, have I've to squint, not, I guess. I haven't heard that it's anti-patriarchy. Well, I've anti -men. heard it's just anti-men. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard that too. Yeah. Haldo could have been a talking porg and the story would have played out the same. No, it wouldn't what, have. What even? People would have obviously questioned the leadership of the porg. <laughs> it wouldn't have played out the same if it was a porg. I can... Yeah, people would have been like, um, who are you? Good beep, bop, 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 beep, beep. Or the, whatever like, the fuck. Vice Admiral Porglo is taking over. <laughs> Porglo. You know, it's this funny. This before... Vice Admiral Porglo. Before this movie came out, everyone was telling me that the porgs were like vicious little monsters. But all they do is like, Sob when Chewbacca eats one of them. <laughs> I'd love it if they You'd were think like, that they attacking. would be running away, you know, like they'd be trying to get away from. I Chewbacca. would. I would hire a Porg over Holdo. Yes, I do agree with that, though. I yeah. I they probably you can probably pay him like seventy seven cents per. Well, you'd be paying him more if he was a he porg. Dollar. If he was a he porg rather yeah. than a she porg. That's true. I I predict that in episode nine, the Porg are going to be. Is it Porg or Porgs? The plural. <laughs> the well, Porg well, is like well, the Porg. There is. A porg, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but they have a group of multiple, a group okay. of multiple porgs. Okay, in in episode nine, the porgs are going to be basically like the Ewoks. They're going to be armed, <laughs> and uh, and they're going to be pissed because Chewie ate one of them. Yeah, the entire and big arc be between them monsters. and Chewie gets eaten alive by them at the end. It's really happy. Yeah. yeah, I want the porg Chewie arc, but maybe I don't know. Who knows? And it's going to be a message about hope into, like, a, and failure. Like a, 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 Zoltron and they they form together and they stick together and they create one super porg. <laughs> super porg. Dude, in the, if in the trailer yeah. for episode nine we have an army of porgs and Ewoks fighting against armies of Wookies, we'll just be like, yeah, that seems reasonable. I'm like, <laughs> Why yeah, not? sure. I'm, uh, I'm sure the porn will be great. Whatever. <laughs> you have to squint oh, to turn God. this into an anti-patriarchy message. Yeah. Holdo could have been a talking porg and the story would have played out the same. Another big issue people have is that the Canto Bite side quest would have been a little bit more is a waste of time, but actually makes things worse. Yeah, it's what? down by... It, it is absolutely a waste of time. Makes things worse. Depends what you mean by things. <laughs> I mean, every element of this movie It makes the film worse. worse, sure, but if he's saying like it makes whatever's going on in the film... Well, yeah, I guess it does, because they accidentally reveal Look the Look at the that thing. fucking weird dog thing that's hovering by its bubble butt on the right. Oh Excuse wow! Me. Yeah. Oh my God! Whoa! Wow! Yeah, like go back just a second. Like I never, I never go to here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to twenty. I I'm have never seen that. Oh, that's fantastic! First, that's the point. That's what this. That's See? a beautiful creature. That design. fucking that weird ass <laughs> alien floating by a gas sack on its ass. <laughs> Ass Whatever floats your boat, I suppose. Another big issue people have is that the no, Canto Bite flies, side quest bitch. not only is a waste of time, but actually makes things worse. First, that's the point. That's what this is supposed to do. Now. Wait, did he just say it's supposed to waste time? Um, or is he referring to? I'm the glad they bit? wasted time at Canto Bite instead of like developing I mean, backstories or characters or relationships. He said. Not only a waste of time, but makes things Another big worse. issue people have is that the Canto Bite side quest not only is a waste of time, but actually makes things worse. First, that's the point. Oh. Hey. If the point, okay, if the point of Canto Bite was to make the film worse, <laughs> then I... It, it, succeed, this, it succeeded uh, with flying colors, man. Yeah, but I thought the theme of the film was failure, so I'm not exactly... <laughs> Sure. God damn that weird fucking floating thing is so <laughs> fucking. Look at like if that thing just like hovered around. Oh in front god, of you, that would I be would so be creepy. Terrified. I would be terrified. I would shoot it. I would fucking pull out a gun and like, shoot its its ass sack and watch it fall to the ground. Do you think it just stares at you with those blank soulless <laughs> eyes? And, you just feel like. No, I no I I I feel like it might make. <sighs> I would much rather that <sighs> sounds. I'd, I'd much rather the Turkish guy next to it came up to me instead of it. Like it, Jesus. it floats up behind you while you're just on your computer, and it just slowly runs its hand on your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And you can hear it farting to fill the bag back up because it's lowering. <laughs> <laughs> it's like those horrible aliens in Dead Space where you have to go into like the. Uh, I don't remember what this part of the ship is, but. 
they make the air toxic and you gotta stomp them to kill them. Oh, right, yeah. Um, I can't remember the names, though. Yeah, you don't have to stomp them. You can shoot them. Well, you can, you can well shoot yeah, them. but it's more... We'll it's better to... Yeah, it's better to just stomp it. That game. Since they don't fight back anyway. Throws Someone ammo said it speaks you. cursive. <laughs> it speaks cursive. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Do you, Ryan, for creating the creepiest alien the console <laughs> stuff <laughs> So that's the point. That's what this middle chapter is supposed to do. Plus, it was a learning moment for Poe about. I can't believe he's standing by that. It's like it's a waste of time. That's the point. It's a waste of time. What it's supposed that's to do. Point. It's like what? What? <laughs> oh, that's that's a win. It was a it was a learning moment for Poe trusting leadership. Which yeah, you can say it so vaguely, but we've been over how that doesn't make any sense. It's um, like no, no, no. It wasn't pretending to be retarded. It was actually retarded. Someone by design. said. Someone said the alien was one of the gas bags from Eden Prime and Mass Effect. I'm not like playing Mass Like the very Effect. first mission. You haven't played Mass Effect? No. Really? I have. Oh my wow. goodness. Wow. Sorry. Stop at three. Don't judge What's me. wrong with you? Well, with a gas bag. What's your opinion? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The little bitty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they didn't actually fight you, and you only saw them for about 30 seconds before you started fighting the Gath, but... You popped them, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they just kind of floated around for about 10 seconds until you found the first... Or no, when your first teammate dies, and then you tell Caden, like, suck it up, we're leaving. Imagine popping that weird blue alien butt thing. It just, like, sl really slowly depreciates. It's just like... Mm, moving it around, you're like, oh, don't touch me. Do you have a doctor to patch up my gas bag? <laughs> I have to quite a lot right now. <laughs> you got a bandage. You got a bandage. Oh no, a little poop. Some gauze, maybe. This is this is this is what Some EFAP's all about. Let's, it's about family. Trusting leadership and Finn for realizing that there's more going on in the galaxy than just where's Ray. Do you think he did There's more that? going on in the galaxy than just where's Ray. Is that his arc, learning that Ray isn't the center of the universe, like he already knew before he met Ray? <sighs> Grasping the straws there, Lee, and not to mention that Finn uh, learns. He, if you remember the scene, he's like, "Hey, man, you stole this ship, but at least you stole it from the bad guys, and you're helping the good guys." And then the guy is like, "There are no bad guys or good guys, idiot." And then he's like, "Hmm," and from there he becomes super invested in the good guys. Like, oh, seems like the opposite should have happened, but okay. If that, that, what? If a compelling that argument? Works. There are no good and bad? That's on a spectrum? Well, good it is for me. <laughs> I agree with you. It doesn't matter, so I'll be good. But more importantly, what annoys me is how some seem to completely ignore essentially the same thing happening in Empire. Oh, Leia, Han, God, Chewie, and... doing it again. So many people oh, do this. No. It's it's uh It's called whataboutism. When you say... This thing isn't another thing, therefore this thing isn't bad. But, um, for one, context. Two, not an argument. So, let's see what the context for this is. 3PO go on their own Save the World mission and get betrayed and captured, creating a situation where Luke has to abandon his training and then loses a hand. Bad plans failing badly has always been a huge part of Star Wars. Do, do, do we need to say anything about this? I, don't know. Yeah, this... I will say that shot of Yoda, it just reminded me of how much better he in the OT as compared to his cameo in The Last Jedi. Yeah, I don't know what they did in, in the new ones, but his OT puppet, for some reason, just can't be replicated, apparently. I wonder what they the did with the original OT puppet. Yeah, uh, did you guys realize, by the way, I thought it was really cool, The Last Jedi is essentially the exact same film as Indiana Jones. It has characters, they travel to different places. Uh, towards the end, the bad guys are kind of killed or hurt, and the good guys have, you know, taken some injuries along the way. And you do see a couple of shots of different areas and different people, and people talk. There's a couple of other things. People wear clothes. That's another one. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, there's sand. Maybe. Is there any, in, yeah, is there there, any sand? Yeah, there's sand in one of the Indiana... A couple Indiana Jones. Well, there's a beach. Jones. There's a beach on Canterbury. Yeah, so there is just sand. like Indiana Jones, it, uh, it ripped out my heart. Uh, there is, like, you, you see Snoke has, like, eyebrows, but they he's got eyebrows, uh, someone has eyebrows in Indiana Jones. I can't think of the character, but they do. At least he doesn't have a unibrow like Quentin. Hey, he's combing that thing, he's, he's, he's grooming it out, he's getting it out. <laughs> Big he's subvert. grooming his unibrow. version <laughs> was Snoke. I genuinely loved when Kylo followed through with ending him. That was a great twist. 
Uh, oh yeah, it was a great twist that the Sith apprentice kills the Sith Lord. Yeah, yeah nobody ever saw that coming. Again, he's just ignoring the actual argument, and I say actual very, very intentionally. There, it's like it's it, not. It's it, not it, that Snoke it's, died. It's that we don't shit he, all about Snoke. He says this as though the movies, the Darth, the entire point of the Darth Bane uh, books, or the Force Unleashed. Uh, I think Kotor might have mentioned it. Uh, the whole point is that the Sith kill each other all the time. How is that subverting expectations I mean, they, don't in they, any way? Isn't that in the prequels? Yoda's like always two, a master and apprentice. Well, yeah, but I don't think that talks about like how they kill each other. I suppose, yeah. I, I know that in well, the Darth Bane books and in you got a little like, bit Force Unleashed with how uh, Palpatine wants him to kill Dooku. Dooku. You know, Anakin. That's that's true. And Dooku also was like, we can destroy. Yeah, uh, yeah, and, and technically Vader does it in the OT. Like we could destroy the Emperor in the galaxy. Yeah. How is Kylo killing Snoke even a twist? Like, it's just an unexpected occurrence. But a twist is something that, like, recontextualizes the previous occurrences in the well, film, right? Yeah, like, the, the point issue here is the, was a surprise. The, the point is, like, because... oh, that, that, like, I think things he thinks... as they seemed. I think he thinks it's... the scene is telling us that he's going to kill Ray, but again, I have to agree with, with Mike from Red Letter Media. He said that when he was watching this scene, he thought it was implying that Kylo was going to kill Snoke, and the twist would be that he kills Ray. Uh -huh. and, I, and I was like relatively on board with that too, because I was like, oh, he's, he's going to kill Snoke? He's going to kill Snoke? He's like, oh, he, he killed Snoke. Right. Oh, no. ER's Legend of Hora Part 4 got taken down. Oh, that's two down already, and it's not even been a day. It's not even been, like, two hours. Well, it might have been two hours, but... Ugh. Did he Did he do it, or was it someone else who did it? I doubt he'd have done it. Those videos have been up for years. Yeah, the Oof. other one was up for years. I remember the Legend of Korra Part 4, it got re-uploaded before, but then he managed to get it back on YouTube. Has it been... Like, where'd you get this info from? Just curious. I just saw it in the chat, and... Oh. Hold on, I'm looking it up. Uh, yeah, it's down. It's down. Oh, wait, no, wait. Which part? Part two is No, up. no, wait. Part four. He's it gone. looks like it might have been the re-upload that is still up. Part three is up. Legend of Horror. I can still see part four. They're all up. Yeah, they're, they're all up. One through four are up. Chat lied then. Well, because what happened? Uh, unless they're talking about what he called the the one that, about uh, reneging. I forgot what his name is. The, yeah, whatever the different the one that isn't about Cora, but is still well, called it, Legend it, it's Cora. Still yeah, it's still technically Cora. It's like the second season. I think that's one that, that he had to re-upload because I can only see part yeah, three it, of that one. It, it looks like the re-upload is still up on VidMe. Is it? Yeah, because the description says, good news, Viacom, it's a great bag of dicks. But, again, like, sorry, just to make some clarity, he had part one, part two, part three, part four. Part four got knocked down for copyright, and he <laughs> re-uploaded it on VidMe, and then he got it through copyright, and part four ended up on YouTube as well, but now I can't see it on YouTube. I can see it. I just went through them all. Part four of his, uh, the re one. Yes. Oh, yeah. I just saw that. I don't know about that. You sure? Because part the part four that's up right now is one minute long, and it directs you to the the reupload. Really? Hold on. Because I I just looked up. Um, let me find it again. There's a playlist, and yeah, it says forty two minutes twelve seconds. Oh, okay. Well, if that video is still up, then yeah, it's fine. I can't see it on his channel though. Yeah, it. I don't know. Maybe it was on a different. I mean, this if, playlist is, isn't by ER, it's by somebody else. I was going to say, if it's real... Look, either way, he'll tweet about it if it's actually happened, so we'll get info on that. I'll, I'll leave his... I've got a, a second monitor, I'll just leave his Twitter up so I can see if he tweets out about it while we're doing this. To make sure... Yeah, when, I, when I clicked on it, it started playing, so... I don't know. Was it... Uh, well, it doesn't matter. Like I said, we'll find out the truth, but I'm concerned that uh, if he gets the triple strike, then his channel goes, and then he's got one. Oh, man. This... Just leave ER alone, guys. 
I mean, really? He can't make jokes? Is that where we're at? We're gonna Hello, destroy Paul. people's channels because they made a joke you don't like? Some jokes We've on been at that for years. Yeah, I was gonna say... <laughs> well, I, I mean, I know it's been going on for years. It pisses me off. Yeah. It seems like it's gotten way worse recently, though. It does. It kind of does. It's like the normal people seem more and more against it, but it's the people it's who like, pull the strings that just seem more and more for it. The division is getting way more obvious. Like, you know, I, I always discontent. I always considered myself to the left of politics, but like it seems like every year it's like I'm just being shoved far right from yeah, the way that people are acting. And it's just, like the it's, lines being moved, isn't it? Where the, let's say the furthest left and the furthest right, the line keeps getting pushed further to the right, as if no, to the left. Sorry. So anything further left of X is right. Window. But yeah, it's like okay, it's like just it, it's like okay, if you support Stalin and think he's a great guy, you're left. If you don't, then you're, you're right. all right. <laughs> yeah, not there even right, all right. But uh, anyway, as weird as a segue that is, back on with Star Wars. <laughs> huge part of Star Wars. The other big subversion was Snoke. I genuinely loved when Kylo followed through with ending him. That was a great twist, and I'm oh, really yeah, thankful he's out of the way. Was... Although there are still ways, not much of a twist. ways to use him, and if JJ is clever enough, he could still make him important. But he needs to sort out Kylo first. <laughs> dead! He's fucking dead! <laughs> Swap Kylo with TLJ. You just sort out TLJ first, okay? Once he does that, we'll be fine. But without Kylo claiming his throne, I'd already seen this dynamic play out. I want something different. And I'm sorry, just because we live in the age of internet theorizing doesn't make the fact that characters' backstories aren't explored the filmmaker's problem. Who else's problem would it be? When Jedi ended and the Emperor was dead, how much did you know about him? The Emperor and Snoke are different characters. Did it really matter, or was he just a foil? He was the leader of the Empire. Snoke is the leader of the First Order that rose from the ashes of the Empire. We need to know how that was possible and where he came from. How many times do we have to explain this? Not the same thing. I'm not saying this film doesn't have problems without perfect solutions. You're it's hard to explain why we've never seen anyone hyperspace ram another ship before, even if there has to be a first time for everything. Though, like, off if the top of my head... That's ridiculous to think that no one in the thousands and thousands of years... You had to slip that in, didn't you? He knows full well that's a terrible argument. You know full fucking well that there is no fucking way that this loon was the first person to ever think... What like, can you guys name a tool that someone has not definitively used as a weapon? A straw? No, Someone's no, probably... no, because people use straw, man. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see, you've got... A plushie. The, no, the, you could, you could let me change my question to, to suck the money out of the working class. A tool that cannot be used as a weapon, maybe. This is this will feed into maybe. a point, but can that be answered? I mean Um It's like the the point is that people will try to militarize everything and find out how they can bomb. gain a strategic advantage. <laughs> bomb. Bomb is a tool that's never been used as a weapon. <laughs> bomb. <laughs> what about bullets? We uh, haven't used Jared as a weapon yet. The only thing I'm going to say is that you seriously underestimate humanity when you question whether or not they would have tried to weaponize something like hyperspace. Oh, what do you mean? It ain't just humanity. What is it? <laughs> well, every Star other Wars species isn't about in the galaxy. Humanity. This is about some alien species that just appears human-ish. Well, no, it's it's not just humanity. Oh. It's every other species. Oh, right, in the yeah. galaxy. Um. The, the idea that they go, well, the main difference in Star Wars between Earth humanity and stuff like that is that most characters, most species, most life doesn't like to weaponize things. That's the major difference. Like, oh. Also, Byrex. Also, Hyrex. Hello. What's up? What's going on in here? Um, How are you guys doing? Yeah, the, the major difference. Star Wars difference... Galaxy humans haven't yet developed tools. They just sort of found a few <laughs> things lying around, and they just sort of fly around. Again, with the, the ignore the fact that it's called Rats Star Wars, tool, the possible tool. like exposition dump we could get in the next episode, they just go, "Man, I can't believe Holder did that." Has no one ever tried that before? And then someone goes, "No one has ever tried that before." Wow, that's amazing that no one's ever tried that before. Yeah, no one's tried that before. And they look yeah, at the camera. No one would have ever imagined. The Force must have been suppressing their will to try that <laughs> until the right time. 
So you're saying it's canon that no one's tried that before? <laughs> like, we're being too overt with this. They could develop some kind of shield that's based off a hyperspace engine that creates a wormhole that will just make a lightspeed ship pass right by you. Lightspeed weapons what? aren't the end all. What? Did what? you just suggest that to, to, to counter lightspeed kamikazes in future, we can now develop shields that create a lightspace wormhole that prevent people from being able to kamikaze into you? How about Ooh. we just never do this again? Do you know what? That was supposed to address how nobody had done it before, though, was I think that was a he used that as just like a side argument go back just a little bit like because he said just off the top of my head like just go back uh, to I'm maybe sorry, three just because we live in the age of internet um, theorizing doesn't make the fact that characters backstories aren't explored the filmmakers problem when Jedi ended and the Emperor was dead how much did you know about him did it really matter or was he just a foil I'm not saying this film doesn't have problems without perfect solutions. It's hard to explain why we've never seen anyone hyperspace ram another ship before, even if there has to be a yeah, first time. Yeah, it's pretty fucking hard to explain Though, that. Yeah, like off See, the top of my go head, off they... top of my head, they could develop what? some kind of shield as an explanation for why nobody's done it before. Yeah, he's put though, which implies it's a a continuation of the previous thing he just said, which is the other. Th I yeah. don't think I'm not sure he meant for that to happen, but yeah, with the way he just delivered that. Yeah, and you well, can't pull the, the off clear... the top of my head thing after saying you wrote this over a year. Shut up, Rags. They they could develop a, a shield that makes it so that when you hyperspace through, they they get warped through you. And uh, as as some people have already mentioned in chat, and spat out the other side. It's like creating bullets that go through uh, seven million inches of steel. And then, I'm honestly not seeing how else you're interpreting it, though, than what I said. Because, like, it's hard to explain how nobody's ever come up with the idea to do this before. Though, off the top of my head, they could develop some kind of shield. Well, if we go to back... To prevent this thing that hasn't been done before, that no so, one's ever thought of. It's, um... Yeah, it's like, if they, if they are coming up with a defense for it, they are obviously thinking of it being used as a weapon. In terms of structure, I think he's got point, and then addition, and then counter to point. So, it's hard to explain why we've never seen this before, I suppose, around another ship before. Point. Even if, if it has to be a first time for everything, that's a bonus to the point. And then, though, he's applying it to the original point, not the bonus, even if. I right, think that's and the what original point was that we've never seen anyone do it before. So, we've never seen anyone do it before, and oh, no, in sorry, the future, you're right, you're right. they could create um, a shield. That makes no fucking right. sense. That yeah, addresses he, a future he, issue, not a past issue. You're right. He shouldn't have begun awesome. it with though. He should have just. It should have just been a, its own statement. You got me, logic. Fucking so weirdo with his better than English than I. See, I'm still good. <laughs> so this, he didn't say anything about it, but I just looked at ER's Twitter, and this Hassan guy who like wrote that article. Hassan Piker, yeah. Yeah. He's a Steven Universe fan, oh. and the video that was taken down was a Steven Universe video. Of course. Really? Thing. I'm pretty sure. Wait, so, for those of you who don't know Hassan Pikers with the Young Turks, he is Cenk Uger's nephew, I believe. Devin Tracy refers to him as uh, Brown Fabio. <laughs> I don't even know. And he is a. And, and if, if, it wasn't a, if it wasn't an ER. Uh, ER. Uh, Steven Universe video. He has made numerous Steven Universe videos in the past, which is just kind of funny, knowing that the person who took him down is a Steven Universe fan. But yeah, I just I just felt like sharing that little tidbit. Mm -hmm. but yes, uh, sentence structure is poor on this, but he's let's just let's give him the most benefit of the doubt possible, and assume that he's he's arguing. That they can create a counter to the problem in the future films, fixing space battles once again. Uh, it would be the same. Fix the problem of is, the, you why shoot, nobody came up with it before. Well, you, you have like a person, you shoot them, they die. Then you have a cyborg, you shoot them, and it's bulletproof. And you're like, oh god, this changed the stakes. And then next episode, you have a gun that shoots and kills cyborgs. And you're like, oh, nice. And then you have Cyborg 2.0 that's immune to that gun. And you're like, oh my god, this is just fucking stupid. <laughs> and the the solution it's like yeah you don't create stakes that way it's like anime or bad anime i should say uh they just yeah. outclass each other's mechs all the time or something though yeah level like, up off the to top level of my eight. head they could develop
I have a better gun now. I have better armor now. Well, I have even better armor than gun now. I have a gun better, but armor to bob it about. Oh, yeah, well, I have better armor times infinity times two. Uh, I have, uh, oh, yeah, but mine's plus eight. Shit. Build that's based off a hyperspace engine that creates a wormhole that will just make a light speed ship pass right by. I can't believe he you know, honestly suggests that. <laughs> Are you no, I, retarded? You know, I've seen this clip so many times over the course of this video now that I just can't help but ask. Why are these TIE fighters flying right in front of the shield that the ships are all shooting at? <laughs> <laughs> Look how close but, those explosions like, are. Like, yes. it, it never occurred to me before, but he's played this clip so many damn times that it's just like, wait a minute. Is this... Is this another problem? <sighs> it's great. Every time we watch a TLJ video, oh. we're finding new things that are wrong with it. Yeah, I'll just tweet about it. <laughs> Part 4 is down. Um, oh, shit. Said, gotta claim a bit ago. The block extends further than Canada, though they haven't made me aware due to a copy. So it's a copyright claim that it's down. Okay. That's kind of convenient. That's good news in a weird way. Like, well, it, it's really odd. It, that must be connected, right? It's, it's, it's weirdly coincidental, is what I meant. Very Not curious. Very curious, the mm. timing. Uh, whatever. Lightspeed weapons aren't the end all. Someone could also very easily explain that the yeah, stars aligned just right. The stars aligned just right. The distances were just perfect. And oh, come on. My brain can't take this shit. It's a one in a million what? target. Really? Then why would she have tried it if it's a one in a million? <laughs> He's like, that, that, was part, that was the big plan, right? All you had to do, and this, I'm genuinely suggesting this, she full thrusts into the ship and they, they start shooting it to shit, shredding it, but it, they don't destroy it before it can crash yeah. into the supremacy. Just the sheer mass, yeah. you know, funks into the ship, and it, then the next time we see the ship, we can see the damage section. Well, you know, now that since um, she's turning around, she can just flip those shields from the engines to the front of the ship so that she can last a little longer, get in there. And so not only does this all make sense, but you wouldn't crack into the law like, with this shit. You wouldn't have to invent it, but... See, like, being completely honest with you, Cinema Wins, Look at what you're arguing right now. You're like, guys, it's not so bad. It could have just been one of those one in a million shots that you can't repeat that she Th really just did was, the stars aligned. Wasn't this this was like the the end point of the big brilliant plan to save everyone and get them to this planet was a one in a million shot that could never be repeated. She doesn't even she's not even a Jedi. <laughs> like the idea that you I, could uh, get the force as a bonus. Yeah. Maybe she is. You don't know. Mm, it's true. But yeah, Everyone's a fucking Jedi now, apparently. I don't even know what he... I'm not even sure this argument is, really. It's like, you can only do it if... If everything is in place. It's like, if what's in place? It's like, I don't know, everything. You know, all this stuff that needs she, to happen for this thing. And someone just highlighted, if it was a one in a million chance, why would Hux act so terrified when she turns the ship? There's no way they'll be able to crash yeah, into Yeah, he would be like, one, it's one in a million shots. Yeah, really that has the same one chance as a lottery ticket. Who cares? And then it just smashes right into them. They're like, for fuck's sake. <laughs> like, well, shit. That's a million right. target that probably can't be repeated with any consistency. I know I'm fixing a genuine problem. My point is just that it doesn't have to break Star Wars. What do you mean but it doesn't it will have because to? Because in the, in the next movie, what will people ask if there's ever another space battle ever for Star Wars? I don't... I love how he like, doesn't have to break it. It's like, your suggestions for fixes are breaking Star Wars even more. <laughs> it's broken now. And it's not like it was never broken to begin with. The prequels break things. The OT... I'm trying to think if the OT breaks anything. Could you, could you call anything that happens in the OT a break? Or a stretch? Um... Yeah, yeah, I think some the of the stuff in the first part of someone, Return of the Jedi, someone... like in the doesn't really make sense. It doesn't really break any lore, yeah. I don't think. It's more just like a, a stretch as to why the fuck it even happened that way. Uh, the possibility of successfully navigating an asteroid field is approximately 3,720 to 1. Never tell me the odds. <laughs> what are you, are that's you... true. Yeah, but that's fine. Because <laughs> Han's yeah. a great pilot and the ship does take a bunch of hits. I'm sure he got, well, I don't know. I mean, maybe he got more piloting in between his solo, a Star Wars solo, solo story. I would hope so. And, you know, episode four. Do you so, think they're going to this... do the Death Star thing again with episode nine? I hope so. It'll be so funny. We need an even bigger super weapon. 
It also, can be the Death Galaxy. It will be called the Boulder Dash. And there's no point in, comp in comparing to actual situations where the odds are against them in other parts of the films, because this is something he's invented. He's just said the odds were against Holdo, but he's got no tangible numbers for this. It's like, why are the, why are the odds against them in an asteroid field? It's like, because they have to avoid the asteroids. That's pretty well, straightforward. Well, like, why one in a million? Yeah, but to that's be like, why is that's... Holdo against the odds? It's like, I don't know, she just is, apparently. Yeah, because, you know, there's rules about this, this guy's thing, face. I guess. He does not think this is a one in a million chance. <laughs> <laughs> Someone just needs to break it in the other direction. I'll admit- Break it in the other- <laughs> I'm picturing a guy breaks his arm and someone goes, I'll fix it, and breaks it the other <laughs> way. Like, Ow. Is you okay? Is uh, this hurts my face. It's like I that the part in the third Harry Potter where the guy's like, don't worry. It up like 11 times. Oh, right, yeah, the noodle arm. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember they his name. He's the, he's Lupin. A, uh, is it Lupin? Or was no, it someone Lupin, else? Lupin was... Uh, I, I know the guy's name. Or no, uh, did this happen to the second movie? I'm waiting for it in the chat. Come on, chat. Make me I haven't watched, don't, I haven't don't, watched don't, the don't movies in like two please years. Think, please don't type it. Um, Come on, chat. Uh, Come on. No, 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 yes, wait. It was the, the, it was the, the second movie. Yeah, it was in the second movie. Because yeah, it because was the dude that they made lose his memories when they pushed yeah. him down the hole. All right, I'll... Gilderoy Lockhart. That's it. That's it. Gilderoy Lockhart. So was um... a Dumbledore. <laughs> Dumbledore. It was Kenneth Branagh, yeah, who directed Thor, by the way, I think. Thor. He's the one who convinced Anthony Hopkins to not go into retirement, which uh, is awesome. Someone said no, his name is actually Lee. The only thing I know that guy from is Hamlet, which is kind of fucking nerdy on my part. Yeah, nerd. It's okay. I... Hey man, yeah, The Lion no, King is basically just Hamlet with animals. That's your- that's like your opinion, man. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That guy's drawn another picture. I'm assuming it's the same guy, I don't know, I'd have to check, oh, but I uh... Cannot wait to be gay. No this... way. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's e that's even more horrifying than what, what was. A, actually, what a terrible, yeah. horrible thing! <laughs> <laughs> that creature. Oh god! Fuck! Just, shit. Hello there. Just fucking haunt <laughs> my dreams, will you? Oh and my he's like, god! He's like extremely friendly, but he just speaks really slowly and breathlessly. Yeah, look, it's it's even got those haunted, soulless eyes I was talking about. He Nailed you know it what I want? Perfectly. In the, in the bubble, you can like make out a vague face that's screaming or something. Oh, <laughs> it's like several captured souls inside the bubble, <laughs> like from Fellowship of the Ring when you first see the uh, Urukai in the mud. Yeah, you just see this like face writhing around in it. Hello there. Do oh my god! Touch you with my salad fingers. <laughs> okay, can we just like promote this guy to like Insta Mima? <laughs> Bowen Dragon? Bowen Dragon? You win. You win. You've made Boo too many dragon. incredible drawings tonight. I'm gonna need, like, EFAP memes as a channel on my Discord at this point. Meme fap. You, you should have a channel like this, <laughs> Argon's fap. channel. They have a ritualist art thing. Okay, I, so I'm you... making note of that. Meme fap. That's a good idea. I'm gonna say that that was my idea, Rags. Is that okay? Yeah. I'm gonna steal it from you and future ideas from you as well. I'm just gonna steal everything from you. Is that okay? Oh, yeah, that's fine, that's great. Alright, oh, my kiss is not... Oh, there we go. Uh... Oh, no. I think I think my watch together's breaking. Again? You guys can still hear me, right? Oh. Yeah. Well, it seems to happen whenever my chat's frozen as well. It must be because I... I don't know, looked at the meme. <laughs> it does. You can't, you can't do that. Um, that creature is infesting your computer. It's currently, like, breathing its sack into your hard drive. Yeah, because it's funny because the chat on on my stream is connected directly, like from OBS to the actual source, so that's still going. But my the chat source. isn't. I can't even get my dashboard back up. That's lame. Well, we can talk for a bit until my computer catches up because something's wrong. Someone yeah. said every pause a meme. I meme mean, Pam. it's probably just gonna be the name of a channel. That's why I was thinking meme fab. Ah. Every pause a meme, every meme a frame, every frame a meme. Every, every meme a fap. That's disgusting. Um, you can't just go around emathing everywhere you go. Um, <laughs> oh, alright, that's... Something's working. 
Oh god, I hate it when you get to the point where you just have to talk to people. You know? Like you guys. Ugh. Disgusting. We don't have to, we can quit. That's true. So I'm... Uh, 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 yeah, it still hasn't loaded back up, that's a bit... ...concerning. What wartime Cumberdale? Uh -oh. are, are you not familiar with the choice of <laughs> rusty spoons? No! Nice and, <laughs> nice and creepy. Stop it! <laughs> now I'm gonna apply that voice to that horrifying little monster. <laughs> Rat, ra rags, why'd you have to even point it out? Why'd you have to find it? Um, you know what? I can just- I'll just read some super chats and- and hope by- the, if I reach the end of them that the fucking- everything kicks back in. As soon as my chat starts working, I know that it'll be fixed. So, um... Doop, doop, doo doo Uh, person doop, A, doop, doop, so objectively, A plus B equals B plus A. You can't argue with that, yeah? Person B, that's just an argument with ignorance, fallacy, person A. Oh no. I mean, yeah, that's, that's how it feels sometimes. Uh, hope ER didn't just get Pewd's channel nuked again. Well, we'll have to see how this unfolds. Honestly, it's gonna be interesting because PewDiePie's possibly gonna address it. Who knows? He does seem to address a lot of things that happen, so... Um, great things, TLJ. Nothing. It's another mess. You can polish a turd. The visuals, it's still a turd. I agree. If you have to turn your brain off to enjoy this film, do TLJ fans just forget to turn their brains back on when defending it? Because it seems that way. I don't think I've ever heard a TLJ defender say you can only enjoy this film if you turn your brain off, though. I don't think they'd admit that, because that would be pretty awkward, wouldn't it? Um, Cinema Wins replied to me on his video, but when I pointed out he was misconstruing arguments, he didn't reply. KOTOR 2 is great, by the way. Play it if you haven't. I'm gonna get to it one day, I swear. Disney steals KOTOR? most- KOTOR? Yes, KOTOR. Bastard. Um... Disney steals most of the new lore editions from Legends and then puts all the best stuff in the cartoons. The movies just don't have the heart in them anymore. I agree. Ray goes into the dark side head first, literally, and nothing happens, but my friends love this movie. One said, don't expect a Star Wars movie. <laughs> that sounds like the Quinton logic. It's like, it's only a sequel if you interpret it that way. It's only the dark side. Uh, it's only a Star Wars movie if you interpret it that way. The only Lee I trust is Lee Bo Rendar Fields. Is that a reference you guys know or no? I, I have no idea. Rendar feels? Rendar. You know what, guys? I think I'm going to jump off here and actually be a parent for like <laughs> an hour or two before I go to bed. This is better than your children. What do you have to say to that logic? Why is this all playing again? I don't know. I paused <laughs> it. I mean, yeah, hopefully you paused it. This leaves a little uh, to be desired. Yeah, I'm gonna, I I'm feel gonna like... Out. Well, it's, but it's been fun for the last Mr. Logic here, but I it's in the description of the video. I can't post anything on my fucking chat right now because it's like dead. So yeah, if, if you want to post, be into it. They could always give it a shot. But like, yeah, I don't know. I just I just like a debunker. Oh, I do like I don't know, religion <laughs> basically mostly. I'm like a fedora tipping basically, atheist basically, with an extremely mostly. tall fedora. It's true. Otherwise known as a top hat. He's got a wonderful sense and, uh, of humor. And black and he's mask. Code. Always willing to have a chat, you know? He's not like a hater. He's not one of those guys. So don't worry about that. Yeah, guys. yeah. Yeah, no, I, I'm totally a hater that uh, just goes around and, and, and hurls insults at uh, the religious and people who like The Last Jedi. That's what I am. <laughs> Specific targets for some reason. It's like, why? Yeah, those, are, those are my only two people that I have any problems with. In terms of their beliefs. Yep. Yep, that's it. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> whatever. It's been that a lot of fun. Um, I hope I hope you've had fun as well. We'll have you on some other time. Maybe maybe next time change up the topic to something that you, uh... <laughs> have a lot more investment in. I don't know. Let's, yeah, let's, well, you know... I have some investment, but, like... I don't have... I don't have eight hours of things to say, so I've been kind of quiet. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> Why are you holding out on us... Yeah. Do you oh, even you know, wear half, a top half the time, hat? you know, like, you know, my office is out here in the living room now. And so, like, I'll have people come to talk to me and then I mute out for a while. And... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is the problem with having, with having a family. Yeah, that is a fucking kind of problem. I would recommend it against off. that, dude. Don't family. Piss off. Leave you alone. <laughs> if I've learned anything from Star Wars, family is about pain, failure, and betrayal, so. 
Yeah, all the families end up dying, so... Yeah, The Last Jedi taught me this, okay? Very good film. <laughs> you misunderstand its themes. The themes, yeah. All the themes. All the Skywalkers are dead. <laughs> it's like... Alright, well, anyway, have fun with how much... <laughs> it feels long. bad, man. I'm sure that the next, uh, you have eight minutes left, so, um... That's about three hours left of this hangout, so... Totally. What are you... Yep. Have you got anything new coming up that you could maybe be like... Sell? I don't know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, I can get... There you go, there's a bunch of links, three in a row, for some reason. It makes well, it so logic, you can see it easier. In the yeah. future, we'll have to introduce you to the wonders of Jared Genesis. You'll oh, love that him. sounds fun. You'll love him. That sounds like a good time. Be a great time. We've never not laughed to, you know, having heart attacks while watching a Jared video. <laughs> Jared is a very special person, and uh, you should definitely have him on your podcast some point, Wolf. Have to. <laughs> oh, I will. Yeah, you should talk about God with him. <laughs> oh yeah, he's a God believer. Oh. He's an oh, individual. Okay, so we can talk about both at once. He's one of the God believer people. We can talk God about the Jesus believer. themes in the Last Jedi. That should be Jesus a good time. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, see ya. Been fun, see ya. Dude. Goodbye. See ya. The Jared is what a fun. nerd. Like, <laughs> oh look at me! I'm a guy with a top hat. That's so stupid. Anyway, my my actual uh, thingy is working again, which is nice. Hard uh, to explain. We're at thirty four oh four. Yeah, that that'll work just fine. All right, but yeah, uh, check out his channel if you want. He does religious debunking videos. I think he's he wants to consider branching out to media at some point. He's actually said he wouldn't mind making a second channel potentially from it, um, which would be cool. Because I think uh, Logic has a lot of interesting perspectives. I've actually, he's one of the f uh, earlier channels I ever saw on YouTube, funnily enough, which was neat. Or at least, um, I th think he was one of the earlier ones when I was looking into, like, more debate stuff. Um, I don't know about you guys, but, uh, just interesting because he's, he's just so, like, classic YouTube in a way. Before, before the dark times. Before. Before the adpocalypse. For the millennium. For the PewDiePie. Why we've never seen anyone hyperspace ram another ship before, <laughs> even if there has to be a first. Are we watch, are, is it supposed to be playing? Yeah, God. I'm Since just making sure. I want to make sure that like, you of... are here for this. In my head, they could develop some kind of shield that's based off a hyperspace see, engine. See, I can't get over those TIE fighters flying right in front of not, not only that, dude, they're flying the so close that... to the shield itself. Yeah, so you might what if they like that. accidentally like nicked it? That will just make a light speed ship pass right by you. Light speed weapons aren't the end all. Yeah, they are. Someone could also very easily explain that the stars align just right, the distances were just perfect, and she really just hit a one in a million target that probably can't be repeated with any consistency. I know I'm fixing a know. genuine problem. My point is just that it doesn't have to break Star Wars. Someone just needs to break it in the other direction. That's not how that works. I'll admit that the slow speed chase leaves a little to be desired, and I feel like there were solutions the First Order just ignored. Like, send a destroyer ahead at light speed and then have Movie them come over. back from the- <laughs> We gave this argument to I Hate Everything, and he was like, yeah, but it doesn't destroy the film. It's like, it precisely it, destroys the film. Alright, it doesn't destroy the film before this point. Hmm. But well, the film does. does a great job of destroying it in every single scene, Think so. about this. From, uh, instead of putting it in space, let's put it on a street, a very wide and mile-long street. You're like, we can zap forward with uh, to find this one car. That's all we're trying to do. We have 12 cars, it's like, and they all have the ability to zap forward at any speed or direction. Let's all zap in the exact same position 10 meters behind the car we're after. Like, yeah, you know how what? cops today, they'll like put down spikes on the road in front of a... like speeding car to stop no, them? It's, no, it's globalist propaganda. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Anti-individualism tism. The other side. But who knows, maybe it was just easier to wait them out. Why enter into a battle when you can just blow up a dead-in-the-water ship? Wait, the intricacies what? of space travel- Sorry, we need to hear that one again. I missed that. Yeah, I think we need to hear I that I feel one like again. there were solutions the First Order just ignored. Like, send a destroyer ahead at light speed and then have them come back from the or other just side. Speed the fuck but who up. knows, maybe it was just easier to wait them out. Easier to wait them out. What? Certainly then not faster. to destroy all of the rebellion by saying, "Hey, ship seventeen, 
it, go ahead and go in front of them and cut them off. And considering how okay, it ended, thanks. it certainly wasn't easier for the first order. They kind of lost right, it's like, a even lot. At the time, I was like, what are you doing? Oh, we're just following them at the exact same speed that we're moving, and we're just planking away at them until they eventually run out of fuel. I was like, what if they just, just sent like one of the smaller Star Destroyers to hyperspeed right through it? No, they all all of those ships move at the exact same speed. That makes complete sense. But they sense. could use hyperspeed. No, because... No. <laughs> um... Just, just you know, because hyperfuel is very expensive. What? <laughs> no. It's Hello. the MacGuffin now. It makes sense. You just don't like it. That's all it is. You just want to live in sin. Yeah. Wolf. Wolf. Gay Waffle. man. What? <laughs> <laughs> article come out soon. Rags attacks gay gamer for opinions on Star Wars. Alan's gonna go straight down the toilet, Rags. Okay. As if Rags has any issue with gays. The I gays, have you have to refer to them as. That's how they like to be called now, it's the gays. The gays, the trademark. gays. The Why enter into a battle again. when you can just blow up a dead in the water <laughs> ship? The it wouldn't be a battle. How would it be a battle? <laughs> you just how would it fucking be a battle? wreck them. You just zoom in front of them with one ship, and you blow it up. I like because they can't have their shields on both sides. So that this follow-up argument... Come on, guys, the sci-fi shit has always been wonky. It's like, so why are you spending so long defending them in so many of these sections if this is your argument? Pick one. You can't have both. Well, and artificial gravity and every sci-fi part of this film have always been wonky. That's why it's fantasy, that, not sci-fi. Fuck you, no, it is science God fiction. Just because they Implying... don't offer an explanation as to why or how it's done doesn't mean it's not science fiction. Why is it that people like to change the genre whenever it benefits their <laughs> argument? Whenever it benefits them, yeah. <laughs> And it's also a kids' film, whatever it benefits them. Yeah, it's just it's for kids. I was watching... Oh, but it's very serious and has very. I deep mean, they they, they do the same thing with Black Panther. They're like, you don't like fantasy. It's like it's not even really fantasy. It's like horrible sci-fi. As if sci fantasy doesn't have rules, though. As if fantasy doesn't have consistency. Yeah, Lord like... of the Rings has rules. That's nah, fantasy. Nah, Lord of the Rings never had good writing. Boo. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah, My it's bad. one of the commentary tracks. Rich Evans says while well, they do the Red Light Media says something like, um. It only ever becomes a children's film when things don't make sense. Up to that point, it's not a kid's film. It's fine. It's, you know, it's for everyone. It's like, the second things don't make sense, this is meant for kids. That's super serious. It is both simultaneously a children's film that doesn't have to make any sense whatsoever, and at the same time, it is also a very deep and meaningful film that's full of themes and literary you know, you know, sections that are put together in an intricate way to tell a, an involved and depthful story. Yeah, I'm sure kids will understand the complexity of Luke discovering within himself a, a lack of confidence in his own religion. Like, what does that even mean to them? It means meat back on the menu, boys. <laughs> How strange that the orcs have a word for so menu. So it really doesn't bother me. It we didn't ask if it bothers you. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> it's just a framing It doesn't bother device. me that the orcs have a word a for menu. framing device. Hey, come on, there's the Isengard buffet. They have menus for that. I just, it's like that he's like, he's we're writing it off as if buffet. when the writer has to come up with a framing device or a vehicle for... I feel for... like we have two conversations happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe we do. Uh, we're talking, we're talking... Me, me and Rags are still talking. Meals. <laughs> we're talking about the orcs having a word for menu. Oh. And you're talking about Star Wars. I mean, they're the same thing, really. Like, yeah, they're both fantasy, right? Yeah, they're both fantasy. They don't have rules. Yeah. Um, but yeah, oh. I mean, so a buffet would still have like a drink menu. Well, that would just be Sex? human meat squeezed into a juice. <laughs> human meat juice. <laughs> would you like human kebab they have or human burger? Juice, and they clank the glass and say, looks like meat juice is back on the menu. It makes complete sense. To be fair, squeezing out human meat juice is my idea of a good Saturday night, but we don't get too far into that. That is wonderful. Get it because I'm a butcher. And I I'm mean, a serial killer. That's like your opinion, though. Like, I'm sorry, but... The truth is the truth, Rags. So anyway, uh, Star Wars. So yeah, second dick. Um, he said it's just a framing device. So whether or not the thingy makes sense, it's like, man, whatever. And I think sense. Hux is just arrogant enough to wait out the resistance anyway. What did he have to... Arrogant Anything enough to wait out the resistance. Uh, 
If he was arrogant, he would destroy them as quickly and swiftly as possible. That's, and he'd yeah, laugh that's while he thinking. did it. And besides, the thing is, what could happen? Anything could happen. Who knows what unexpected thing could happen and does end up happening? If you have the enemy in your palm of your hand, you destroy them. You crush them. You don't give them chance to have some miracle occur. <sighs> lose, really. They also could have made Holdo's <clears throat> reason for keeping the plan from Poe more apparent, and this yeah. could just have maybe been handled differently. Outside of a slow speed chase, I will say that the obsession with fuel being the catalyst for the story is weird. As if problems with ships have never come up before? I mean, it's a running gag that Han couldn't engage the hyperdrive when he needed to. R2 was always fixing shields. The Phantom Menace only ends up on Tatooine because of some part they needed. Fuel is just another component- Oh, so he's saying, like, why are you complaining about fuel when we've always had ship things that go wrong? Um, I suppose the problem for us is it seems arbitrary. Like, the film was like, yeah, we're running out of fuel now. It's like, oh, what? we're out of fuel now. It's like, Since when? And it's just like, we just are. And it, and it isn't like you refuel. It's like, oh, we're, at, we're running out of fuel. We're almost doomed. Mm. Not, we can get a new part. We can fix it. It's mentioned in the main series. I'm really trying not to be dismissive here, but some of these... Trying not to be dismissive. <laughs> Plants make it hard. The real point I want to convey is that if you want to start picking apart Star Wars and you want to not be hypocritical about it, you need to go back to the beginning. I don't well, know how is... much you can say about being not hypocritical there, Mr. Cinema Wins. Also, when we're talking about The Last Jedi and you want to say, oh, but we're really talking about Star Wars as a whole, it's like, no. <laughs> Picking no, we're not. We're not doing that. We're talking about The Last Jedi. Seems, seems like he, concession... he has a lot of selection of things that are most convenient at the time for explaining how this film works as well. You see, the thing is, you can't, even if we, let's say we go with his example. And say in episode three, da 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 happens, and is it? Yeah, if we say it's bad in that, that doesn't mean it's not bad here. It still could be shit here too. If it doesn't make sense elsewhere, that doesn't make make it more sensical here. Start with fundamentals. Things like why would the gunner for these bombers need to be anywhere near the actual turret? Yeah. He's in a giant glass ball outside of the ship. Yeah. In that same vein, they can't remotely control these ships that are about to be destroyed. Yeah. Or like, since it's wait, is he presenting? <laughs> like, I'm confused. What do you do? Is he is he leading into saying none of this matters? Is that going to be the conclusion? I don't know. Out of fuel, just let it float until it stops. It's not going to the... stop. Reason is that it's established Star Wars lore. But no. No. No, no, it's not. No. The reason is that it's established Star Wars lore. Decisions were made early on to look cool and being practical. That is an that's an A wing. What's the difference? Oh no, sorry, that was well, an A wing. And I think there might have been a B wing there too. Um, um go back, go back, bring I'm back the tape. Trying to mom. Because if I seriously just saw a B wing. Giant glass ball so they outside have... of the ship. In that same vein, no. they can't remotely control these ships that are about to be destroyed. Or like, since it's out of fuel, no. you'll just let it float until it stops. The reason is that it's established Star Wars lore. This is Stop the video. Okay. Um, That's yeah, an those are A wings. Yeah, Decisions there's an A wing in the foreground. There's an X wing in the back, and those are those fucking retarded bombers. Oh, which, I thought this oh, was which, a B-wing right one, two, in the three, front. Four, five, no, B-wings have like a, oddly enough, B-wings have a T-shape to them and they fly sideways and those yeah. are bombers. Oh, that's the B-wing, okay. Yeah. Made early on to look cool over being I'm practical. sifting through my Star Wars <laughs> Battlefront knowledge trying to figure but out which of these ships are. <laughs> but it's not their looks that is the problem. It's their capability that's the problem and they use them anyway. 90% of the shots made by the gunner on the bottom of the Falcon make absolutely no sense. What is he? 90% of the shots by made by the gunner on the bo bottom of the Falcon make absolutely no how sense. How many what how, how what percentage of shots do you think hit their target? What what is what is Unless he suggesting? Raised. I'm confused. What does he mean by it doesn't make sense? <laughs> Someone said the, the arguments are worse than Tommy Wiseau's <laughs> acting. I don't know. What is he you saying? 90% of the shots. You can't have bad aim. I don't, I don't know if that's talking? his point. I don't know what his point is with Established that. Established Star Wars lore. Decisions were made early on to look cool over being practical. Yeah, but not being as practical as possible doesn't mean that they are actively impractical. He's saying the Falcon's guns are in a horrible shot. But they have a the screen, shot. though. It's not just based on their outside aim. Like, from what they see, it's they got a little screen. Shots made by the gunner on the bottom of the Falcon make absolutely no sense. Don't... 
Why though? I'm 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 genuinely interested in that. I'm seeing if it doesn't make sense that three TIE fighters would line up as she cre crested the ridge. I agree with that, but that's this film. <laughs> Is if 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 he's actually criticizing this film's Falcon shot accuracy, sure. I'll go along with that. The AT-ATs are like the dumbest version of tanks ever. They're on wobbly, way too tall legs, super slow, and their heads, where they shoot lasers from, barely move. They're vo uh, they do exactly what they need to. They, they, they're pretty strong. Yeah, they, yeah, they definitely have design flaws, but they seem to be effective in the film. I, I suppose that's the question, isn't it? Like, if they achieve they what they were designed purpose. for, then perhaps. We should be more lenient with them, but the, to be like, and well, remember, they do that with the bomber. It's like at the cost of all of them, and not only yeah, because they the were lucky. Yeah, the thing is, every time we've seen ATATs used, they're used for assaulting a stationary position. He's talking about the perspective of the turrets in the Falcon. When when in the turret, they're sideways. When viewed from outside, they're vertical. So a, a an editing inconsistency. Yeah, I'm, I'm still not quite following on that one. Vulnerable from every uh, direction. That is real quick. I hate to do this to you guys, but I actually got um, exams tomorrow pretty early, so I'm gonna have to head off. Why they already you're, they probably already know you're gay. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, Rags, you and me have already established this over the past several months, but no, we uh, yeah. Well, it's it'll be fun because it's my last foray into college ever. Mm, Hooray! Yeah. More free it, time. It, it, it would. Yeah, which, well, no, not necessarily. I oh. still got a job, but, oh. but it, yeah, it'll be nice to not have to do it, but I should probably pass the classes or exams rather. But yeah, so it's all right. Hate to do it. You, you, we, we allow you to leave, Wolf. It's okay. Okay. You're not going to chain me up or like whip me tonight, Mauler? The second you leave, I will disparage you. Okay. But I wouldn't do that until yeah. you're gone. I like you, Wolf. You're Absolutely. Good friend. Yeah, we would never do that yeah. to your face. Well, good. Yeah, of course. Oh, the chains and the whips are for rags, after all. <laughs> yeah, I don't need them. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. See you later. Doodles. See Bye. you later, chat, with you and your creepy photoshops and pictures. I love you guys. Toodles. Toodles. What a piece I of shit. That's all we got. Anyway, <laughs> me and Rags <laughs> will be able to kill the six minutes that remain with ease, I am sure. Let's oh, do boy. it. Head on. Yeah. This isn't meant to ruin Star Wars for you. My point is that none of this... I don't think anything is meant matter. to ruin it. I don't think yeah, they the make something is, with the intention of ruining it for you. The terrible design of the bombers does matter. Like, the terrible design of things... Like, a, a good example would be the guns on top of the Dreadnought. They're terrible odd design that's apparently regressive technology wise mm -hmm. it does matter because one ship can take them all out which means that the bombers can come in even though the bombers get shredded by fighters anyway and the service cannons or it all spirals together things affect one another none of this the capabilities of individual pieces all come together to make excuses for why they need to have this plot happen. I can't take him Not seriously when he's telling us none of this matters when he's just been going over all the arguments for why it's okay, it does make sense, and it does matter. It's like, come on, man, pick one. And the f besides, yeah. the functionality of weaponry will absolutely affect the stakes. If a lightsaber well, just yeah. stopped working, you don't go, eh, it's fine, none of that crap matters, really. I mean, how do we destroy the Death Star? Well, these are our capabilities, we have to come up with a plan. Yeah, it's nice and simple. Like episode six, just like it's 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 open because it's not completed yet, but it has a shield. Destroy the shield. We you have, have to destroy the, the bunker. Yeah. Destroy the bunker. You got to get a bomb in there, and you can't because the door is welded shut. So they they oh well, it's just shut in general. And so they trick the empire into opening it for reinforcements, and then they get in. They destroy that. It destroys the shield. Everyone can get in and shoot the core. Really? Everything is running as in, as expected. You don't suddenly go. One of the guns doesn't work quite right on the X wing though. That's, that doesn't matter because it's like it doesn't change anything whether or not it did. That's the important point. Okay. Okay. Crap matters. I hate the Last Jedi because of tone and style and whatever else. But stop with the inconceivables. Lightsabers make no sense. Yeah, they do. I mean, it doesn't even matter as long as they're consistent. Exactly. As long as they're consistent. Also, simple enough. Can you see that shot? It looks like a hand is touching the saber light there. I don't know if it's the same frame for you, but... I noticed in a lot of her grips, she holds it really close 
to the end. I've never before. So maybe it's just the blur and the quality of the footage and the speed of her motion. Hmm. Motion of the ocean. In addition to defending Kelly Marie Tran, I have nice things to say about Ryan. But first, I can't defend this. You basically tattooed please at me on your forehead with that one, Ryan. I've never found much evidence to support it, but there seems to be a general consensus that Ryan and Disney were dismissive of fans who didn't like the film and wrote all complaints off as anti-feminism or anti-inclusion. That's no good if it's true. At the same time, Ryan's human and allowed to have emotional responses when people attack his work and obviously wants his cast- Tell us about your comment section. <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't necessarily disagree with any of this. I'm just like, fine, fine, fine. Like, Ryan's human, he's allowed Ryan. to have emotional responses, like, who said he wasn't? Yeah, but he is very combative, and he will not accept criticism as, of his work as valid. Mm. Some friends are being attacked, all bets are off. But everything I read and watched and listened to from Ryan shows me he really is a Star Wars fan who was trying to make the best movie he could to excite the fans. I don't think he's a Star Wars fan, <laughs> no. and his movie sucked. I feel like he was annoyed with how Star Wars had become entrenched in his own in mind as to what it is and wanted to completely break down all of the things you expect about Star Wars. And yeah, I've I, seen this movie and I'm like, why does he hate Star Wars so much? <laughs> the, 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 yeah, like I said, it, it, it comes across like someone, the person who made it, trying to fuck everything up, like, by design. And I'm just like, you know, do I call that person a Star Wars fan? I mean, possibly. Very weird way of showing your fandom, though. Maybe not please the fans, but he was trying to add to Star Wars rather than just rehash what we've already seen. So, thank Digging you for what? Digging himself. <laughs> you for that, okay. Ryan? And even though he was writer-director, you and I both know that every major decision uh, had to be signed no, off on. No, we don't know that. What is he saying? That Ryan's not responsible then? Is that, what it, is that his point? Yeah, even though he's the only credited writer-director, it's not like he... It's not all his yeah, fault. That's, that's ridiculous. And just, it's not like people are saying that there's not additional people who are responsible for the creative decisions. However, he is the guy who wrote the script. And really, that's my biggest problem now that it's clear there was no plan from the beginning. Uh, it's clear there was a plan from the beginning. And you, were, you made this video a couple days ago, so you should know that. Daisy Ridley accidentally. I say accidentally because I'm sure they didn't want this public, but JJ had plans. Ryan ignored them. To be fair, there was no plan for the original trilogy, and that turned out fine. But JJ and Disney knew they were making a trilogy and had an opportunity to at least outline. St I love that he's already counted his own point there as well. The fact that there's no yeah. plan doesn't mean you should have bad films. All right, so explain this whole film. Yeah. <laughs> story beats and they didn't or ryan threw them out there's conflicting information on that maybe it's too hard to plan what? this out why would that what? stop you now he's saying this i thought he just said that he started with nothing and now he's saying it's conflicting i want to go back say so your information he is confusing. really is a star wars fan who was trying to make the best movie he could to excite the fans maybe not please the fans but he was trying to job. add to star wars rather than just rehash what we've already seen mm -hmm. so thank you so but any if anything that just shows and this means that you have to admit he's a failure. Because if his plan is to excite the fans, make them excited for Star Wars, then he's single-handedly done what no one else has done. I'm sure. What no prequel movie has done to Star Wars. He has ruined it for an insane amount of people. I am sure that he would argue as long as he makes one fan excited, then he was successful in some way. In some way? In some way. <laughs> for that, Ryan? And even though he was writer-director, you and I both know that every major decision had to be signed off no, on. No, we don't. No. And really, that's my biggest problem now that it's clear there was no plan from the beginning. Yeah, shows! So, yeah, just keep, keep that in note. It was, it was clear there was no plan from the beginning. To be fair, there was no plan for the original trilogy, and that turned out fine. But JJ and Disney knew they were making a trilogy and had an opportunity to at least outline story beats, and they didn't. Or Ryan threw them out. There's conflicting information. So he said it's clear there was no plan from the beginning. Well, there's conflicting information on that. Nice. Okay, thank you. On that, maybe it's too hard to plan this out when you know a bunch of YouTubers are gonna predict the whole thing. Why would are you fucking you kidding anyway? me? How? how but guys, it's hard to make a movie. Because YouTubers, YouTubers, <laughs> YouTubers is ruining it. Come on. Jesus it's also interesting. Christ. Thing that everyone kind of glommed on to the bad guys commission. Let the past die. Kill it if you have to. Especially when he can't even do it himself.
It doesn't matter. That's not why we latch onto that. We latch oh, onto it because it's like a microcosm yeah, for how Ryan feels about Star Wars. It's awful advice. And by the way, people actually believed it was good advice who liked this film. I, I've said it before, but unfortunately, Boogie's review of the film, he said it was, it was something he kind of wants to live by. The idea that you kill your past to get over it. It's like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, like, you know, people who like this film took this message seriously, so don't even start with people like me and Rags or people who didn't like the film going went too far with it. I'm assuming his argument is going to be the film condemns this line of thinking, but, um, I, I wouldn't say so myself. Well, no, it's because it's he such thinks a mess. Killing Daddy and Mommy and Uncle Lukey will do it, but that's not how that works. I'm sorry, what? He killed Snoke. Does that count? Move on, kill your past to become who you are. He killed Snoke, who's clearly a part of his past, and now he's able yeah, to be free. Sort of, yeah, that's sort film of. Film kind of supports that. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna have to disagree with you there, Lee. And the fact that he's so obsessed with killing the past, a la allowing the skim speeders approach by letting himself be tricked by his daddy's ship, and then not noticing that Luke is a projection. Look, I give I don't know Luke why a bunch. He would have any particular connection to the Millennium Falcon? Yeah, he said daddy's ship. I assumed it was Ray he was after rather than the ship itself. He does say blow that ship out of the sky, but Ray is in the yeah. ship. So uh, on top of that, it's still that's a part of how bad Kylo's character is. But um, that doesn't even he's saying like you see, and it and it made him lose track of the fact that they were attacking the cannon. It's like you do remember the cannon was successful, so his yeah. choice to do that didn't affect anything. <sighs> of credit. It's the um, it's like thematic versus mechanical. Um, even though the thematic element is completely fucked, he's just not paying His attention daddy. to the mechanics of the scene and what actually happens, instead of just interpretive. Ship, and then not noticing that Luke is a projection? Look, I give Luke a bunch of credit, but Kylo is an attuned Force user that could have sensed what was going on if he could just calm the Force down. But he's more obsessed with the past than anything else. And then let's look at the evidence. Ray keeps the Jedi texts, Luke embraces his own legend, even admits he was wrong about some stuff. Even the OG- Yeah, that's what I mean, the film is conflicting. It shows us that both- you should both kill your past and embrace it. It's like, okay. Alright, thanks. The master thanks, comes Bill. back and teaches Luke some stuff about failure. Some stuff about failure. <laughs> yeah, I agree, it is just some stuff, really. Just failure. some stuff. That's this 30 is, fucking years. Some stuff. Most of all. Just some stuff. Change your mind. The greatest teacher failure is we have what they grow beyond. That is the true burden of. Yeah, I mean, if you just keep dinging it. All masters. That was supposed to be the takeaway, not. It's obvious that was supposed to be the takeaway, but it's conflicting as fuck. Goddamn. It's not about. And, and it's so on the nose. But I mean, we've already kind of said this in this video. I don't know why he's just he's hopping on. <laughs> Jedi, the rebels, let it all die. Realize that failure is the best teacher to learn from your mistakes and be better next time. Luke finally How gets does Ray it. Fail? <laughs> Luke finally gets it. Luke finally learns from those mistakes that Ryan provided him. Like, Good job, thanks. Luke. And Luke specifically wasn't killed if you have to. He chose how he went out and it was peaceful just like Yoda. Kylo wasn't even able to kill that piece of his past. But he died. So what the fuck is the difference? But, we do have to move forward. Letting the past die can be painful. But, does anyone want Mark Hamill to carry every trilogy for the next 200 years? Is that what we're asking? Uh, once again. Is that something that we're asking for? If you don't agree with his perspective, then you probably want this ridiculous, hyperbolic opposite. Yeah. Obviously what yeah, we want. Sure, do you think he exactly wants to do that? Want. Do you think he can? I'm gonna stop asking rhetorical questions, you because I know that you don't- Stop asking questions. Jesus. I want to see this trilogy play out the same way as the original trilogy. Of course you don't. I would have taken that better. over what we got. I would have taken, yeah, I would have taken it. That's I was like, we I'd rather headed. see this two good things over than one good thing and one terrible thing. We don't need Kenobi, Skywalker, and Solo stories forever. It doesn't take a gene. Why'd you say this like we've had ten movies with it? The OT and that's it. Okay? I mean, the prequels were technically about Anakin Skywalker, but I don't, I don't think that's fair. It's... He brings up the age of the actors, so... Yeah, this is the original trilogy. Genius to see the Emperor Luke and Vader stand-ins. This story could have played out exactly the same. Instead, Ryan no, they changed wouldn't have it. Behaved like this. Ryan changed. And if he changed it, that means it's good. He subverted your expectations. Oh, Just God. maybe not in the way you were uh, expecting. 
Why would you even try that? Yeah, I didn't expect it to be this shit. Why would you even say that? It's like the why would... not to not to bring it in the meme, but it's almost like the the standard response for defending the Last Jedi. Well, you just weren't just expecting didn't give you it. What you wanted. Good lord. I don't know. The way people hate this movie makes me feel like I can't possibly be a real Star Wars fan. It's hard for me to understand because this is what You're I was expecting. expecting. This garbage? Wait, what? <laughs> what? You expected this crap? Damn. Well, You're see, but he watched a different film to us, though, because all those issues we've Clearly. been highlighting, they're not things that registered with him. He, he must have been watching some alternate universes... The best way to enable this film's existence is to have a trilogy between this one and the OT that explains all the shit that happened with the Solo and Skywalker families, then to drive Luke into exile as a result or something like that and bring him back here and then correct all the contradictions and maybe you can get what was intended with this film done consistently, but... I mean, we're not there. That's not what we got. Luke walked up to the dark side, took a step over to beat his dad, and then when the evilest bro in the universe yelled from the freaking far end of the dark side that he should join him, he was like, yeah, nah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, just reference an old scene. Somehow that makes your argument for this film better. I yeah, know, I guess. That, that yeah, that old good. stuff was good. So yeah, Luke doesn't buy into his own status, his own legend. That makes- What? That didn't correlate even a little bit. <laughs> like, it's like, yeah, he- he didn't want to go to the dark side, so Luke doesn't buy into his own position as being a Jedi. It's like, Total but, non sequitur. Doesn't okay. follow at all. It's narrative sense to me. And I'm sorry, but I'm thankful he wasn't super optimistic and chipper. He was never like that anyway. What? what? I don't get a <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. You're a lot of fun, Lee. You're a so lot I guess of fun. I still just don't get the problem. He starts out whiny, he's then he's sad whiny. for a bit. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Stop. <laughs> he starts out whiny and he's sad for a bit. <laughs> Just stop. He has some fun with new friends, then he's sad again, then he's this. Christ, man. That's it. That's Leave Luke the Skywalker. OT alone. This is embarrassing. Just don't talk That's about the Luke OT. Skywalker. And this is he's the sad for a bit. I just. <laughs> sad for a bit. You know, his, his fucking uncle and aunt got fucking murdered. But, you know, whatever. He's, he, he just had a bad case of the sads. He's just sad for a bit. <laughs> The exact character that carried over to the last Jedi for me. He's not just like back to normal after watching his dad die after he saved his life, That's and then the almost the killing. His what even are you arguing for right now? That he he could be in any emotional state. That none of this affected him, or that it. It's not like Jimmy Christmas. I don't. I just, I just wow. His nephew because of his adherence to the light. Ironically, dude goes into exile, Why? wants to be left alone. No, it doesn't. We caught that bit, and it doesn't make sense. It's part of the problem. It, has, it makes no sense. That's what so many people have an issue with. It makes absolutely zero sense. His dad died, and he's sad for a bit. <laughs> he's old. <laughs> he's also old and sad. That makes sense. I never thought I'd have to double down on some stuff I said in my prequels videos, but it is okay to like this movie. <sighs> yeah, well, some really okay intelligent like people it. can be fucking wrong. <laughs> some really intelligent people like this movie. You're not dumb, you're not not a real fan, nor are you just a fanboy. And there are also intelligent people who really dislike this film. Either side well, is we right. Well, we can back Either our side... side up pretty goddamn well. I mean, it's, this is the thing, though, the correlation, like, you're not intelligent if you enjoy something? Like, is someone's... I mean... Yeah, it has nothing to do with your intelligence, whether you enjoyed it or not. Whether you can make sense of it... I, so I, I like the room. Does that make me unintelligent now? Idiot. Assuming whatever the argument, whatever, fine, moving on. Well, that is wrong. The themes of the room? Well, I've been... <laughs> Friendship, betrayal, uh, sacrificing what you... Why did he just ding himself? He likes dinging himself. And defending and talking so much about the themes, I've neglected... Oh, he dinged it for Han says hi. Han says hi. Apparently Han that was written on... Film. Right, neither side is wrong. Well, I've been defending oh, yeah. and... Apparently that, rela that, that translates to Han says hi. Oh, okay. A bit awkward, considering that's basically the only recognition Han gets in this film outside of someone telling Luke he's dead. Yeah, plus, these people don't know really about Han all that much. I mean, I guess he would be... It's just so strange how they treat Han after episode six. It's like, what is his standing exactly? He's supposed... He should be like some renowned war hero, you know, who had this arc and he did all these amazing things, helped save the galaxy... Now he's just some washed-up nobody. He went back to smuggling and abandoned this kid. Yep. 
And I'm like, what? What is his place in this universe now? You know? <sighs> Talking so much about the themes, I've neglected so many of the little amazing details like the beautiful wide shots. No, you've mentioned them. And lighting. The yeah. No, you've mentioned the lighting. Score. You mentioned the, the, you mentioned the score. Performances. Yeah, you've definitely mentioned the performances. You can't yeah. even compare Hamill's performance in this film to the original trilogy because he's on another I mean, level. It's a, it's a different level, that's for sure. That's a weird thing to say. It is, it is a different level. Yeah, it's like... Uh, I'm quite a fan of his acting in, in the original trilogy, but fine, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Adam Driver continues to carry us along, and Did I... Did he accidentally just imply that Kylo tries to carry these films with his acting? Because I could possibly agree with that. Tries to carry us along? <laughs> let's, just, let's just replace us along with the film. Someone's got to carry me into the theater to see the next film. Isn't this true? I really can't wait to see what they do with him next. Yeah, he could be good, evil, halfway Bad, between. Fucking, Who knows? Fucking anything. He could be anything. He wanted to tear it all down, so he should be doing something completely different from Snoke or the Emperor. Even uh, the... What if he doesn't? What if he's the new what Snoke? What are you going to do then? Complain? Yeah. <laughs> then his expectations will be subverted, which means it'll be amazing. Mm. Jedi. I'm genuinely excited for episode 9 because there... I'm sure you are. There's a story, story there, and I really don't. There is no. Okay, we've said this before, but I mean, it may as well just sum up quickly, like, uh, the, the component parts you're dealing with for Episode 9 is you've got all the main protagonists, like Ray Poe, uh, Finn, and Kylo. That is the main focus. Leia's technically not in it. Uh, three of them are on a, sh a singular ship, and that is their faction. The other one is in charge of a massive, powerful, rich army, and that is his faction. Go. And y you may be asking, like, what do you mean go? It's like... There's nothing that's else. Where that's where you yeah, are. Yeah, but that's it. That's where we are. There's no story there, unfortunately. Uh, you have characters, I'll agree with that. But you got no story. I don't know what it's gonna be. That's sort of exciting. There's barely much Stretch to theorize to say about there's the characters. Wait, sorry, did he just... accidentally counter himself? He said... There's a story there, and I don't know what it's gonna be, because there's barely much to theorize about. There's a story there... But you can't even theorize because there's nothing to work oh, with. That's quite the story. What a story. You can't even fucking see what's going to happen in any way, shape, or form because it's limitless. Sort of exciting. There's Jeez, barely much to like theorize the same sentence, man. about. The yeah. slate is nearly clean. I don't know. I've been accused of being too optimistic. Well, this is the important part of the channel, I suppose. Is the point of the videos just to be overly optimistic? Unrealistically optimistic? Well, this one's unrealistically optimistic. Yeah, because if it is, like, yeah, you nailed it, I suppose. We'll see. Longest conclusion ever. If you made it this far, enough time has passed that I bet if you go back to look at the polls, you'll see that the you either hate it or you love it narrative is a little overblown. Just something to keep Why in mind. It? Next week, something Fuck way off. off. That's so fucking cringy. Godspeed Rebels. Jesus fucking Christ. Why'd you have to... Godspeed Ugh. Rebels. Oh. Why'd you say that? <laughs> we did. <gasps> What did we do? The one thing she needed. Salt. God speed roll. Jesus fuck. I. Ugh. Jeez. Like I. Ugh. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I know. It's like I felt like goosebumps on my fucking dick. Jesus Christ. Right, right down there, huh? That's unfortunate. Ugh. Well, so. What do we think, Rex? Uh, it's pretty awful. Pretty awful. It's, it's like a lot of them. I mean, it's. I gotta it's say, I'm disappointed. He's he's just repeated so many of the arguments in the other videos that came out months after the film, rather than nearly a year. Yeah, you'd think that this came out a week after the film was released. And then there's a lot of just you have to convert your opposition into a crazy person to be able to argue in favor of this film. I'm yeah, not a fan typical of that. straw man nonsense about Luke and all that and expectations and what they wanted from the film. Typical garbage. Couple of cheeky lines in there that you gets close to being a little bit combative, even though he said he wouldn't be. He's very contradictive with what his own principles are. And then he just seemingly references the OT in a way that's just I don't even know, understand what the fuck's going on. Uh, what I will say is that Possibly one of the better ones we've covered just because everyone else is so much more condescending to the people they're talking to than this guy. This guy is... Yeah, he tried to hide it a bit, yeah. Like, I know this is a controversial thing to say, but this might be the best video we've covered, maybe, considering how much we've covered. Maybe. Of the yeah, bads. maybe. 
What do you reckon, chat? <laughs> What's everyone's opinion on that one? Um... You better love it, we spent two episodes on it. We did. And once I get Ugh. through these super chats, I think we'll be able to wrap up, which will be a three hour EFAP, and we'll get loads of comments about how bad that is, but... I woke up, I got on EFAP, and now EFAP's almost done. I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep. That was my fucking day. But yeah, we might... I gotta wake up at two in the morning. We might have a longer break again, considering the two EFAPs. Maybe. I don't wanna... I don't wanna make people so we're go gonna mad. take a little nap break, and then we'll be back for another EFAP. And we're gonna best read video yet. Poetry. Still awful. Major Lee is definitely still the worst. Yeah, I'd probably agree with that. Uh, Was the worst Tro? Um, oh, good question. Because that is I think that, that is a personal slight for us, isn't it? Like yeah. So I think that one, yeah. Mm. Um, but they're they're different. They're all different kinds of bad. Yeah. What? And again, to come back to the beginning of the stream before this one, the idea of only positively mm. covering films is not better than Cinema Sins if you do it this way. Cinema Sins' problem is that you invent issues with a film to project its badness. You'll have comedy that's confusing, and you'll have dings where you're just confused as to how they could possibly be dings. Reverse all of those problems. Uh, arguments that are, that are confusing, it's like Cinema Sins definitely has them. Uh, dings where you're just like, where the fuck did they even come from? Like, contradictive language, and pointing out positives in a film that weren't there in favor of making the film look better that's the exact same thing just in reverse but people are like well it's it's in in favor of positivity meaning it's uh more valuable because negativity is much worse than positivity by definition right that's how that works right i just um i'm not a fan of either to be honest we're going to cover cinema wins again with a quiet place because i know me and wolf would like to talk about that film but obviously we'll try and give it a bit of a gap I don't think he's terrible, I just wish he would have looked into the arguments for this film a little bit more thoroughly, because, man, do some of these things feel like they came out like a month ago, a month after the film, like, really not looking into it much. And I can't believe he really did argue that hardcore for Holdo's plan, when it, it's just like so, like I said, Just Right and Patrick Willems have both given up on that one. It's really just, you can't defend it. It's just that bad. So, yeah. Also, to those asking in chat, I'm working on a video now. It's going to be a big one. Do not you worry. I, I, I'm i also working on a big... It'll probably be my biggest... In terms of reviews, it'll probably be my biggest thing. But I'm trying to really be thorough with it. Um, Yeah, and, and obviously, if people are wondering from me as well, it's, it's Christmas Day. You're going to get a near three-hour video from me. Okay? It's all edited. And I'm very anxious about how you guys will 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 what you guys will think about it. But I worked on it for ages, so hopefully it's not awful. But um, Ray. let's get through the remaining super chats then. Uh, Sin Sins is Lee now, just to confuse you even more. Fair enough. I'm all a big fan, more stressed. I uh, I don't know if Abby is still here, but I know her from other things. Hello, and I'm gonna remember to send you a message after this, assuming you've gone, because that was ages ago, sorry. Um, you know, it's weird, the guy appeared, and then Kylo fought him, and then he just disappeared. Thanks, Mauler, and backstory for Bilbo Baggins meme. Oh, we're gonna cover the video is from again, because I want to reignite that meme, since it's still alive and well. I think people are using the Bilbo Baggins meme without having any clue where it came from at this point. It's, it's that potent as a meme, but we'll, we'll get it back. It'll come on EFAP, and, uh, yeah, uh, if you don't like The Last Jedi, you're a white supremacist who chains women into your basement like Joseph Fritzl. I mean, that's like your opinion, though. Man, the drama between Wolf and Rags, that was hot. Oh yeah, that see, this was a while ago. He's still talking about Oh, that was something. nothing. Yeah. The bombs might not be secondary explosions, depending on what the ordinance is and how it's fused. I mean, sure. Uh, imagine if he slapped a private with PTSD, the Allies didn't tell Patton about D-Day, would that make sense? Imagine if after he slapped a private with PTSD, the Allies didn't tell Patton about D-Day. Would that make sense? Oh, are they saying... There could have been a mole. Oh, but yeah, it's hard to, to, to relate. I'm assuming they're trying to say, like, would... How much information would be kept from privates even in, uh, in real-life warfare or whatever, but, you know. Said this on Smug Boy's last stream, but Ray makes Windu and Yoda look like Padawans. Yoda was the Grand Master, and we didn't know their backstories. They were on the Council. It's implied power. Um, yeah. 
being being that they would have been there for ages, we don't need to know their backstories because we would just assume that they've had plenty of time to train. But we saw Ray's beginnings, and yet she's super powerful. There it is. Anyone can lie. It's the galaxy's most extreme lottery. Billions of players, only one winner. Better buy seventy-five Sue bucks for your chance. Ugh. Not a Mary Sue, just an amazing character. What do you guys think of Avengers Endgame trailer? Have you seen that, right? I have not yet. I would say we could watch it on this stream, but I'd have to keep pausing it to make sure we don't get copyright claimed, so... I'd I'll just, just watch say, it on my own. Yeah, just watch it after the stream, I guess. Uh, misconception, but Luke wanted to join the Imperial Academy in A New Hope, not the Rebels. He says it in the film during the dinner scene with Owen and Baru. Oh yeah, but isn't it to fight the Empire? Or is it not? I'd have to, I'd have to recheck. Um, holy shit, I just learned Holdo is in Jurassic Park. Yeah, she is, and... Uh, Decent character. Um, Ellie Sadler, I think her name is. I'm in the Navy. Holdo would be the CEO of the ship and Poe would be the XO. She absolutely should have told him the plan. Failure to do so could cause uh, causes confusion, doubt in the mission, and discontent in the ranks. That's, yeah, I I would agree with that. You don't understand. we got to think of the children, man. Think of all the money we could lose from these people. we got to have the money. <laughs> yeah, count it's a children's movie. It's totally big sets. God. In the game... EVE Online, whenever you warp into an obstacle, the game law creates a bubble warp wormhole to avoid the planet moon space station. Same principle could apply to Star Wars. That still seems ridiculous, though. Generally, like, I know, I think Halo does this, and some other things do that, but whenever you enter into, like, a faster-than-light, you know, sort of travel, like hyperdrive or slip space, you essentially enter, like, a like a like a, a a different dimension in a way one that's layered on top of ours that you pop into and then you pop out of it and that corresponds to a place on our map so you can't actually you're not actually traveling per se in our world you just appear where you do the travel it's like a separate road that you take hmm. and then you exit the road back in the same universe you started in Yeah, or it's, else, it's yeah, complicated. That would obviously, cause incredible problems for it's like funny. any sort of sci-fi world. Yeah, it's funny because it's like, are we going to get some kind of crap from JJ to explain this shit? I wonder. I wonder if he'll do it. Uh, in the game, oh yeah, sorry. Uh, these TLJ defenders do not know that the Empire had interdictor cruisers, which caused a gravity well. No hyperspacing, nor did Ryan. Which, yeah, I mean, they might introduce that. Who knows? Uh, this is why you don't defend this movie, because the explanations needed to defend it are far more flawed than the flaws themselves. Why people can't just accept it's a bad movie already. One, I don't know. Uh, it's probably worth mentioning, by the way, I did invite Cinema Wins onto this stream, uh, uh, like, a, like a week ago or whatever, and he responded indirectly in a tweet. He said that um, people want him to talk to people who disagree with him on The Last Jedi about his video, and he said that he's made his video and he wants to move past it now. Awesome. But yeah, fair enough. I guess he doesn't. We we tried, guys. Okay. So much for so much for having comments and so much for discourse. talking and then ending thing. Yeah, discourse. Yeah, so much for that. When it's him, it doesn't. Yeah, in the comments section, you guys should do this. But when it comes to me, no, 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 no. It's not for me. RJ said she was force sensitive. Why? I am not sure what that's in reference to. Is it Ray? Because maybe it was Leia. I'm not sure. Totally. We, um, we knew that back in episode 6. Just saying that bubble creature has to mate. <laughs> bubble creature has to... Touch my bow. <laughs> uh, Dash, Rendar, Lebo, Shadows of the Empire. Ah, that's probably why I, I'm not 100% on that one. I've heard of Shadows of the Empire, but I've not read it, I think is the correct medium. But, uh, that's Disney's Predator with Women, PG-13. Sorry. <laughs> Disney's Predator with Women. There is a woman in the new one, though. There you go. This is objectively the worst video you guys have ever covered, in my opinion. Oh, yes. Aye. Beautiful take. Why can't they just milk the supremacy at hyperdrive speed? That's a question we'll never get answered. I told you we should have put more than 12 space bucks in the tank. Star Wars is now space balls. There's a lot of references that make Star Wars space balls now. It's quite depressing in a way. Why, why, didn't, um, why didn't the ship just hyperdrive the Radis. Why didn't the uh, Radis just hyperdrive to a, another planet and then go on the planet? Because that's your opinion. But actually... 
They can, okay, so wait. Um, could they hyperdrive just a little bit further forward to reach crate, and then you know poop out all the transports immediately because they're undercover? Like on the far side, maybe. Yeah, they're because they're, they're undercover. As I said, they're cloaked, and then. Why didn't they just hyperdrive to Crate? I guess they just didn't know that that planet was right next to the place they randomly hyperdrive to. But surely they... Yeah, that's what I mean. Surely they did. But did... But was their first jump random? Or was it just like, a, oh crap, get us out of here jump? Yeah, but or was it like, we're going it, to... You know, surely they had it planned in advance. I was going to say, how could they be that close to Crate if it was random? <laughs> also, I don't buy a we randomly are landed next to a planet thing. No. Man, we need to stop thinking about the film, it just keeps falling apart. Uh, but like, why didn't they go to like a, an indoor planet, or a Yavin 4 planet, or so, or like a... Like, why didn't they go to Tatooine, or something like that? Or Jakku, or someplace? Like, some populated area. Why didn't they just go there, just hyperdrive to that planet, and then get off the planet? You could hide there. Um, I have a solution to hyper-ramming. Make it a WMD that the Empire wouldn't use. A galaxy-sized shotgun that destroys planets slash stars in its path. I think when I think with the Death Star and Star Killer base, they kind of already yeah, ruined. Not that. to mention yeah. that isn't it a bit late for that now? It wouldn't. He says make it a WMD. He's like, but it's already been done in like a ship. Unless they're talking about rewriting the film, which yeah. Um, Muller, are you a situation individual or an individual situation? Certainly the the latter. Mr. Lucas had a plan for OTPT and ST. That's a total lie. There wasn't a plan for OT. I used to respect this guy, but his arguments are flawed. Uh, well, I mean, he just said he he can't even, he's conflicted on whether or not there was plans for the fucking ST. So, uh, CW is really good at praising great movies, but is definitely overly gracious with bad ones. This is a prime example. Enjoyed the stream, boys. I am glad you yeah. did. Hopefully, hopefully I'm we weren't too well. harsh because I know people really like this channel. But yeah, but you know, we were we were we responded in kind is how I'd like to put it. Uh, I meant General George Patton slapped a private with PTSD in World War II, and if the Allies didn't tell Patton about D-Day, would that make sense? He slapped a private with PTSD in World War II, and if the Allies didn't tell Patton about D-Day, would that make sense? I'm not sure what I... Uh, I'm really not following. Are you following? No. Well... Let me take a look. George Patton slapped a private with PTSD. I mean, General George Patton slapped a private with PTSD in World War II, and if the Allies didn't tell Patton about D-Day, would that make sense? I guess if, like, Allied High Command didn't tell the generals and stuff about the D-Day invasion, then they wouldn't know what was going on. They wouldn't have been able to coordinate as much as they needed to, so it would have failed. Just uh, Because I... Patton was reckless and impulsive like Poe. By TLJ Screwjob, he gave five dollars. No, I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. I, I feel like it's my my fault. My brain's not uh, registering it properly. I don't think. Well, your brain fart got you five bucks, so don't feel too bad. Let's put it this way: if it's a relation to how stupid it is in the Last Jedi, then um, you're more than certainly right. Just because there's so many ways to break it down. There's that video that's called like a military analysis of the Last Jedi. Have you seen that? Uh, by Penguin, yeah. yeah, the Penguin Emperor Penguin guy. Um, Bumblebee it's is retarded. Whoa, Bumblebee has 96%? The what? What? The new movie from Bum uh, this Bumblebee? That's pretty, I'll take a look. Pretty good. Transformers Bumblebee. They're comparing it to Poe. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I picked that pop. I was tomatoes. Just... Holy shit, it has a 96% tomato. Yeah, 96%. Is this before its release? Or yeah, after... there's, no, there's no user review. Because if you remember, yet. Black Panther got 100%. So... <laughs> So, yeah, there it is right there. Um, but yeah, that that about does it. Um, you know, thank you guys for... for t it took us this long to get through the 42 minutes. I'm afraid it was two episodes, but, you know, these things happen. We'll try and pick it up next time. I'll say that every time until we slow down so much that we're covering one video per seven streams. That'll be, that'll be the day. But uh, both me and Rags have videos that are coming. When would you... Do you have an estimated delivery date for yours, Rags? Um, no, I don't, but it, it'll probably be within the week. Oh, there you go. Um, thank you all for watching and for your very kind and generous donations. Uh, we will be back at some point. I don't want to say because now we're in December. Time starts to get a little bit more complicated because, uh, 
you know, all of us do Christmas related stuff probably and um, new videos are coming and yeah, so no plan specifically for the next EFAP, but we will obviously continue it when we can. Thank you all for, for, for coming and uh, goodbye. Oh, Rags, did you say goodbye? Oh, it, it was the, the goodbye is implied. <laughs>